Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Red and I'm looking at the camera. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you've noticed by now, or at least you should. But those of you that are here for the first time, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant, and the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. Guys, welcome to practice session number 69. I am here in Columbus, Ohio for one of two practice sessions, 69, which is today, 70, which is tomorrow, and we're going to have a packed house today. And I got to tell you something, guys, Columbus, Ohio, or anybody near Columbus, Ohio that's participating uh, in these practice sessions. These guys are not playing around here, guys. Now, what am I referring to? So when I announced this practice session, um, this practice session was full in about two weeks. Sundays, three weeks, right? I mean, they are not playing around. They made sure they put deposits down to secure their spots. You know, and that's when you know somebody is serious about coming out here and practicing. And, you know, I just want to thank them all because that's just awesome. I love Preloader Nation. We got preloaders and VI preloaders coming out here. Uh, one VI preloader in particular, I'm really looking forward to meeting her, and that's Melissa. Uh, Melissa McDonald, uh, because she is heavily involved in the uh, Facebook group, Be the Boise of Motorcycle. Um, and she just recently passed her MSF course. Yes. Yes. And I was so proud of her because she was putting in the work prior to, right? Prior to asking a lot of questions in the Facebook group, coming out and practicing with her brother. Uh, he'll be out here as well. Um, and I'm just so proud of her. And, you know, if you practice and you watch these videos and you practice the exercises, um, and then you have to take an MSF course, yeah, you're going to feel a little bit nervous, but it's important that you know it's going to be nothing to you. Once you get proficient in the stuff that we do out here, and again, we don't do anything extreme out here, the MSF course is a cakewalk. So kudos to her, and, and she did her MSF course in the rain. So she had some stuff working against her as far as the weather, but as far as her technique, her skill, and her confidence, that was all in her corner. So congratulations to her. I'm going to tell her again on camera when she's here, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm looking forward to meeting her. So I even called her. I was going to leave a message uh, con congratulating her, but I wanted her to hear my voice. And it meant so much for her to hear my voice, myself and Anita, uh, congratulating her. So anyway, guys, I'm happy to be here. We got good weather today. As a matter of fact, Joe Go, Joe Go Motorcycle Riding Adventures. Uh, he lives in Ohio. He's going to be here today. And he told me uh, that I picked a perfect time to be here because the weather's just great. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, briefly, guys, for those of you that are here for the first time, what we do on this channel is slow speed maneuvers. Other things, too, product reviews and stuff like that. But the main goal of this channel is to make you comfortable riding your motorcycle between 1 and 10 miles per hour. And that's what we do out here. We do 14 different things out here. Uh, so it's a long day, about four, five hours, maybe. Uh, so it's a long video, too. But there will be chapters in the video just in case you want to jump right to, let's say, the figure eight or u-turn or whatever but i always tell people if you skip around you're probably missing something that would have benefited you to hear so uh invest the time guys again you don't have to watch this in one shot although there are people that do as a matter of fact there are people that start watching it and tell themselves i'm going to watch this for 15 minutes and wind up watching it for three hours because it's engaging right it's engaging watching us interact out here so as i always say guys this is a judgment-free zone. This is not a competition, right? There's no arrogance. There's no judgment. There's no negativity at all in Preloader Nation. And, of course, that includes out here. There's no pressure out here. 
you do exactly what you want to do and nothing more, unless it's something that I see that, you know, you're being a little timid about, but I see something in you that you don't. I might ask you to do something that you may not be 100% comfortable with, but let's keep in mind, most of the people that are coming out here to practice are not 100% comfortable, period. So, you know, um, we got to step outside of our comfort zone a little bit. All right, guys? All right, so anyway, like we always do when the preloaders and VR preloaders get here, we're going to talk to them, find out who they are, where they're from, what they ride, how long they've been riding, and more importantly to me, how long they've been practicing slow speed riding. And I'll ask them to rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best slow speed maneuvers, and that number sometimes changes at the end, but that number's for them and them only. All right, guys, let's do it. As a matter of fact, I knew that was Jogo Motorcycle Riders that pulled up. Ask me how I knew without looking. Well, first of all, he's got tire performance, and I know what they sound like. But it wasn't even that. It was because as he got closer, he shut his engine off and let it just coast. Now, you know a content creator, or at least a content creator that's dialed in. He, that's who would do that. All right, guys. All right, what's your name? My name is Terry Bendixson. Terry, where are you from? I'm from the uh, west coast of Wisconsin. Oh. La Crosse, Wisconsin, to be how, precise. How long is that trip to here? 683 miles. Wow. Wow. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? Well, I started riding when I was 22, mm -hmm. quit when I was about 34, started again about two years ago. Okay. Okay, good, good. What are you riding today? I have a Yamaha 1300cc Royal Star Tour Deluxe. What year? 2005. Yeah, I tell people when they ride Indians, if you ask, what kind of Indian is this? Man, you got you to take a deep breath before you say <laughs> it. It's, it's so long. <laughs> um, how much time you got. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the most important question to me, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Well, since I started watching your videos. Okay, how long has that been? About a year and a half, I guess. Okay, no? good, good. Can't uh, say I'm very good at it well, yet. That's why you're here today. That's why I'm here. All right, do you practice? I, yeah, I do. Okay, but good, I'm, good. I'm kind of anxious about... Okay, uh, okay we're going to work on that. Yeah. Um, and if you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what are you giving yourself? 4. 4. Pleasure to meet you, man. You as well. All right. All right. What's your name? Lee Sturgis, Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, beautiful. You're already... Uh, good. You're, right, you're, you're ahead of the game with the questions. Um, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, back on a bike for maybe four years. Okay. What are you riding today? Uh, 07 Heritage. Uh-huh. And guys, the Heritage is beautiful. It's a beautiful looking bike. And you said your wife is the one that makes sure it's clean, right? Yes, sir. Oh, man, that's outstanding. Um, more importantly, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Maybe a year. Okay. And work gets in the way. Yeah, so. gotcha. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what are you giving yourself? Um, I'm going to go with a 2.5. 2.5. And guys, I... I told Lee, A, a I'm never going to forget his name. Uh, B, what an awesome name. Like, that's a superhero's name, Lee Sturgis. Pleasure to meet you, Lee. You too. Thank you so much. All sir. right. All right, what's your name? My name's Tom Anarino. Tom. Okay, now, Tom, before we ask Tom any other questions, Tom's got on some <laughs> awesome Indy Ridge Comanche, Comanche boots, Comanche boots, and I'm wearing the same boots, and somebody else is wearing the same boots today, so I wore the right boots today. Very comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Very nice. I love them. That's what I like to hear, man. I love mm -hmm. them, too. Mm -hmm. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, probably about 10 years off and on. Okay. What are you riding today? I have a 2017 Indian Springfield. Beautiful. Uh, more importantly, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Since I saw your videos. How long ago that? <laughs> uh, probably uh, maybe a couple months ago. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Did I ask you where are you from? Right here, Columbus. Oh, beautiful. So you got a nice away. commute, nice easy commute, mm -hmm. unlike... Uh, Terry, that was just speaking to 683 miles away. Uh, um, if you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best, slow speed. What do you uh, think? Slow speed. I never practiced it. Uh, okay. Probably, uh, I mean, I am better since I've seen your videos. Good, good, um, good. Probably a 2 or 3. All right. I was not oh, good at all. Okay, good. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, man. Thanks, bro. All right. Appreciate it. What's your name? Heather. Chuck. Where are you guys from? Oak, Oak Harbor. Harbor. Ohio. Ohio, okay. I always, it's so funny because when people say where they're from, like I was in Florida and the guy said, Clearwater. There's people watching this all over the world, so we got to <laughs> give them the state too. All right. Um, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, over 10 years. 
Okay, how about you? Uh, close to 40. Okay, good. What are you riding today? A 1200T super low. What year is that? Uh, 2016. Okay. Yeah? And what about you? 09 Road Glide. 09 Road Glide. Okay. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. I've watched your videos thanks okay. to my brother. <laughs> okay, good, good. You watch, but you don't practice at all. I haven't had time to practice since he introduced me to you and your channel. And how long ago was that? Uh, in the fall. In the fall? Yeah, and have we are in Ohio, so we don't have to yeah, drive Yeah, you're right, you're right. Have you ridden your motorcycle in that time period? Uh, only once, and yes, I did try some of your maneuvers. <laughs> She's ahead of me, guys. She's ahead of me. What do I say at the end of every uh, video for the most part? If you have time to ride, you have time to practice. So that's good. She's prepped. All right. Uh, how about you? Any slow um, speed practice? How long? Pretty much the same. Okay. Once Chris was here last year, yeah. um, shared the video with us. We've mm -hmm. watched it, and we've done very minimal Okay. we have. Good. So you said when Chris was here, he shared the video with you, and now you guys are here. Mm -hmm. See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. And that's why I ask people all the time. If I meet a preloader or a VI preloader, and they're with someone that's not part of a part of preloader nation, I always ask them, do you care about this? Do you like really care about this person? You know, because we got to each one teach one. We have to share this information. Outstanding. Okay. Here's the question. If you have to rate yourself, well, this is going to be tough if you never practice slow speed, but it doesn't matter. If you had to give yourself a rating, slow speed, one to 10, 10 being the best, what would you give yourself? Oh, a one. A one. I'd probably say a three. Okay. A three. Pleasure to meet you both. You too. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you. you too, man. How are we doing today? Good. What's your name? Chris Dibble. Yep. Uh, where are you from? Maslin, Ohio. Ohio, good. Uh, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Seriously, since uh, probably 2007. Okay. Somewhere around in there. Okay. What are you riding today? 2000 Road King. All right. Um, more, more, the most important question to me. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Um, since I started watching your videos. Okay. Um, and it came down last year. Yeah. I thought it was the funnest thing I've done in a long time. Said, if you ever come back, I'm yep. going to do it. And Beautiful. Here we go. And you spread the word. So that's yeah. even, that's, that's just awesome. Um, if, you, if you had to give yourself a rating, one to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what would you give yourself? I'd go with probably a four. A four. Oh, here's the question for you. You were here last year. What practice session number was that for you? 50. Pleasure to meet you, man. Thank I you. love when people know the numbers they were in. <laughs> Check out number 50, guys, and now I want you to compare it to today. No pressure, man. <laughs> What's your name? Jim Booker. Jim, that's, a, that's a cool name, too, Jim Booker. Where are you from, Jim? Uh, right now I'm from, from Romulus, Michigan, but I'm moving down to Ohio. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? I've been riding on and off for a long time. Okay. Um, yeah, just I grew up riding dirt bikes, four-wheelers, that type of stuff. I switched over to street bikes when I was up in Alaska. We didn't get to ride a bunch. Alaska, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, the last several years we've been in Florida, so I've been riding pretty regular. Beautiful. What are you riding today? I'm riding a 2019 Road Glide Special. Beautiful. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Slow speed riding I've been practicing for probably about a year. Since Chris shared the videos with us, um, I've had the opportunity to get out and ride. He, he sent it to me as well as his sister and okay. uh, brother-in-law. So um, once we saw your videos, we, we've pretty much been doing that stuff. So um, I haven't set cones and stuff up, but That's fine. That's we've, fine. we've been out just working on doing the slow speed stuff, keeping it preloaded, that type of thing. So. Absolutely beautiful. One to ten, ten being the best slow speed. What are you giving yourself? Uh, three. Pleasure to meet you, man. Thank you, sir. All right. What's your name? Mark. Mark, where are you from? Uh, originally from Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. uh, I just moved out here about 11 years ago. 11 years. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What are you riding today? Uh, uh, 22 Street Glide. 22 Street Glide. Okay. Uh, what do you, oh, you tell me what you're riding. Yeah. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? One to 10 miles per hour? Uh, probably a few years. Okay, good. If you had to yeah. give yourself a rating, one to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what would you give yourself? Uh, are you talking left turns or right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, probably a three. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you. Thanks. What's your name? Charlie. Where Paul. you from, Charlie? Uh, Cleveland. Okay, good. Uh, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Well, uh, since I was a kid, I'm 64, so over 50 years. But okay. The last 20 years have been consistent. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, what are you riding today? Uh, a two, 2005 Harley Road King Custom. Ah, okay. The old girl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's the oldest one out here, but we'll see. Most importantly, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Almost never. Almost never. Okay. So Very honest that's answer. That's why I'm here. Yeah, absolutely. 
if you had to give yourself a rating, one to ten, this is going to be difficult since you've never really done it. Yeah. Slow speed, one to ten. What would you give yourself? Ten being the best. Ten, the best. I one. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Mark. I mean, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> nice meeting you too. All right, brother. I like your videos. Thank you, brother. Come on up, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. You too, man. Thanks for being here. Oh, absolutely. What's your name? Ray Marbar. Ray, where are you from? Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Uh, how long have you been riding the motorcycle, Ray? Two years. What are you riding today? Triumph. The smallest bike here, the only Triumph. Okay, okay. Distinguished gentleman's bike. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Uh, about a year. Okay, good, yeah. good. If you had to give yourself a rating, one to ten, slow speed, ten being the best, what would you give yourself? Two and a half. Pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, my pleasure. All Thanks. right, brother. What's your name? Rich Hampton. Rich, where are you from? Benito, Indiana. Okay, uh, Rich, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Mm, about two years. Good. What are you riding today? 17 Ultra Limited. Okay. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Mm, off and on since I found your channel. Okay. How long um, has that been? Year and a half. Okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what would you give yourself? I'd say between a 1 and 2. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. All right. Oh, yeah, I knew it was another pair of Indy Ridge Comanches. That's three of us out here. They're comfy, too. Yes, they are. <laughs> What's your name? Fred Stewart. So, Fred. Fred is the other guy that's wearing the Comanches, the Indy Ridge Comanches. And he said, they're comfy, too. And they are. They're... Anyway, yeah. I can go on and on about Indy Ridge. Um, where are you from? I'm out of uh, St. Clair Shores, Michigan, up by Detroit. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Uh, what are you riding? No, I'm sorry. How uh, long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, since early 60s, mid 60s. So, okay. there, was a, there was a stretch when I was in the military. Mm -hmm. I didn't ride, but finally getting back on. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. You as well. Thank you. What are you riding today? Uh, 21 Road Glide Special. Beautiful. And it's a beautiful bike. Beautiful bike. Thank you. Um, yeah. More importantly, how, more, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Started last year when I started seeing the videos. Beautiful. So beautiful. off and on, here and there, not as much as I should. But Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best I'd slow speed? Probably say a 2 or a 3. All right. Pleasure Thank to meet you, you very much. Appreciate it. All, All right. Nice to meet you. You too, brother. What's your name? Jogo. All right, Joe. Don't you have a YouTube channel? I do. Jogo Motorcycle Adventures. Definitely check out his channel, guys. There's just good stuff on that channel and uh, the podcast. What's going on with the podcast thing? Uh, so I, I started doing a live stream, and then YouTube came out with an option to do a podcast. So now I've been bringing, I've had like eight episodes, mm -hmm. brought on you, yeah. brought on Paul from uh, Pro Rider Texas, a bunch of people. Traveling tall. Traveling tall, Psycho like Fanatics. Fanatics. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm about to have, what's his name, uh, Full Throttle Hog, Ryan from mm -hmm. Full Throttle mm -hmm. Hog on. Mm -hmm. So if you go to my channel, I got a podcast tab now, and I'm slowly starting to release the the audio version. So yeah. check it out. And the live, the live streams that he's done, I mean, every one he does, they're getting better and better. So it's always nice to see people's channels evolve because everybody that has a youtube channel if you look at their first video versus the current video it's going to be some type of progress so doing a great job man appreciate it um how long have you been riding the motorcycle uh about seven years what are you riding today 17 street glide okay um how long have you been practicing slow speed riding uh, going on about two years now good if you had to give yourself a rating one to ten ten being the best slow speed Last time I rated myself at six and a half, so we'll start at six and a half. Last time, how many practice sessions have you been in? You don't know the numbers. Four, right? five. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Too Always many. Good to see you, man. <laughs> An excellent T-shirt. Thanks. Thanks for the support. All right, guys. So we're gonna get started. We got a bunch of people here. Uh, we got great weather. Let's do it. Good morning. morning. Welcome to practice session number. Six Never gonna forget this number, <laughs> right? Um, because one's up, upright, the other one's upside down. See, I'm ready. Just like Heather was ready, I'm ready. Right? Uh, all right. Pleasure to see all you guys here. Anybody here have a problem being on YouTube? Apparently not. I just interviewed all of you. This is work. Like, people don't realize this is work. Sometimes people come to my practice sessions after a five-hour ride, and then they're planning on riding back five hours. And I tell them, dude, there's no wind roll therapy out here. We're going to be working. All right? So just keep that in mind. Anybody nervous? Okay, and that's normal, all right? It's normal. Um, so I'm going to tell you this. It's, it's, it's kind of a waste of time saying it, 
because if you're nervous, that's an emotion and you can't just switch that off. So I'm going to say try not to be nervous because there's no pressure out here. This is not a pass or a fail. Nobody's judging you on anything. Your toughest critic today is you, period. That's everybody, right? We're doing 14 things out here today. You could do two things if you're only comfortable doing two. Now, every time I say that to people, they go, should I pay 250 bucks? I don't care if I'm laying on the ground, I'm doing everything, <laughs> right? But keep in mind that if you, if we go, if we get into an exercise that you don't feel comfortable doing, you can go back and practice some other things on your own. It's perfectly fine to do that. But if you hit a cone and knock it over, please pick it up and put it exactly the way it was. I'm very particular about these things. I'm joking about that, but just put it back. All right. Ground rules. I know there's no helmet law here in Ohio. And I get the question all the time. Why don't, why isn't this guy requiring people to wear helmets? Listen, we're all adults. So we all know that a helmet is best to do, but we choose to take the risk if we don't wear a helmet. Now at slow speeds, you'll probably never see me wearing a helmet when I'm out here because I just know if I fall, my head's not gonna hit the ground. But anything could happen to me where I can lose consciousness and then fall and hit my head. I know that and I still choose not to wear a helmet. So if you don't wanna wear a helmet, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. The reason I don't harp on that is because there are people that will, if you tell them you have to wear a helmet, they just say, screw it, I'm not gonna do it, right? And um, I'm trying to get as many people as possible to understand the importance here. And if you don't wear a helmet, that just affects you. But if you don't know what you're doing on one of these motorcycles, that can affect everybody around you. That's why group rides are so scary. The more knowledge you have about anything in life, the more your antennas will be up. And most motorcycle riders have never been exposed to anything, so that's why they can ride for decades and everything's okay, nothing's, nothing's a concern, right? Anyway, I'm not here to preach to you guys, I just wanted to get that out, any questions about that? Beautiful. Push-ups. Some of you guys pulling up here really already owe me push-ups, but you know, no big deal, we're not gonna go through it. If you grab your front brake, squeeze your front brake, anytime you're in an exercise, 10 push-up penalty, okay? It's voluntary. Joe, you said you're gonna do it for him? All right, Joe, go. There you go. There you go. There's people have donated push-ups, so don't worry about it. If you put a foot down today, in lieu of the motorcycle dropping, 10 push-up penalty. And I had to add that because that's, that's worse than the front brake. Front brake, it'll just maybe the bike will tip over. But I mean, I just always seem to be in the right vantage point to see people's heels and feet and ankles get destroyed by these motorcycles. So Heather's probably the only one that can get away with that today. Uh, because her bags are soft, but I still don't want to see it, all right? Do we all understand what keeps these motorcycles upright at slow speeds? Power to the rear wheel, right? Power to the rear wheel. So a lot of you guys have impressive sounding uh, exhaust. I'm sorry, is everybody here familiar with my channel? Yes, everybody knows what preload means? Yes. And keep it loaded? Okay, good, so we're well ahead of the game because one time I'm doing this, I'm yelling out preload, and finally, at exercise number three, the guy goes, what does preload mean? So, <laughs> I mean, it's pointless if you don't know what the hell it means, right? But preload means the throttle, right? I'll put it on the screen, but we wanna engage the throttle, raise the RPMs uh, so that they're elevated. So I'm looking at all these motorcycles. We got one Indian, we got a Yamaha. How's the throttle on the Yamaha? Where's he at? If, it, if, if you, once your motorcycle starts to move, if you let off your throttle, is it a steady idle? Can you go through the exercise without any preload? Okay, that's all, that's all I need to see. Because unless you have an idle, like BMWs, some BMWs, the idle is not only elevated, but it's smooth. So you can actually go through the exercises, no preload at all. My, my motorcycles, all of them, if I just let it idle while it's moving, it's going like this, right? And I don't wanna be dealing with that. And his face was like this. So yeah, that's why we preload and we keep it there, all right? So as long as we understand, because the funny thing about a motorcycle, a few things. One, it's the only vehicle that people get more nervous the slower it goes. No other vehicle shares that characteristic. Um, two, you can know everything and why it works and how it works, but once you get on the motorcycle, your brain just takes over and does everything the opposite, right? So that's why we have to practice, right? We have to practice to reprogram our brains so that our instincts don't kick in. 
our muscle memory kicks in. And you're not gonna get muscle memory practicing once a week, once a quarter. Like this is something that you have to do. You don't have to be a fanatic about it either. They're not crazy and that's what people think. I don't have time, but they're riding every day. What do I always say? If you have time to ride, you have time to practice. And practice is a state of mind. So the first thing we're gonna go over today is something you could practice all the time, but I'll get to that. Um, okay, so if I push you in your back, like you don't have to go to a training class to learn to put your arms up. It's an instinct. So if your motorcycle is falling, you don't have to go to a training class to put your leg out because that's an instinct, but that's not what we want to do. So we have to go to a training class to understand power. Well, you should be opening your hand when the bike's falling because as the bike's falling, if you open up your hand, it's going to pick the bike up. I'm guaranteeing that or your money back. Guarantee. It's not my, it's not my opinion. That's always going to work. Right? And I don't, I don't like using words always and never, but uh, without anything extreme going on, that's going to work. Right? And the more you practice, that's going to happen. So as the days are going by, I want you to understand that when I ask you, don't put your foot down. I'm fully expecting you to put a foot down so I can tell you you owe me 10 push-ups. Fully expecting it. If I say turn your head and your eyes, I'm expecting you not to do it because it doesn't feel natural. But that's why we have to continually do it and to a point where it will feel natural. And it's going to get to a point where some of you guys, you're going to feel falling and your foot's going to come off the footboard or the peg and it's going to come. You're not going to touch the ground. It's going to come right back up. That's you fighting an instinct and winning that battle. That's the start of all of this. Right. Is anybody here a competition rider? Motor officer. All right. Does anybody have aspirations to do either of those things? I'm asking you these questions because it's important that, you know, none of this is set up in competition specs right? It's also important that you know that everything that we're doing out here, if you get proficient at it, because a lot of you guys said, no, I'm not interested in that. But some of us, when we learn some of these skills and we get over that hump, some of us will go, okay, I couldn't make a U-turn in three parking spaces. Now I can. All right, Rob, I'm good. I'm just going to stay right there. But a lot of people go, what's next? Because that's, that's what's good about confidence. Confidence replaces fear. So the higher your confidence goes, the less fear you're going to have. And then some people get crazy and now they're cocky. You know, we don't want to be cocky. We want to be confident. Right. So uh, anybody that does competitions or motor officers that practice because they don't all ride well if they don't practice. This is where it starts. Right. Everything that we're doing out here, that's what they're doing. They just practice it and practice it and practice it. Now. There are some stuff in here, like right here, the top of this snowman, that's 18 feet, that's an 18 foot circle. Yeah, that's extreme. That's why it's a bonus exercise. You can just look right past that. It's not necessary to do that. Right? It's important that you guys know, not necessary. Now, there are people that want to do it. Like somebody told me, I scraped my boards today. I mean, he was happy as all can be, right? But see, that's his goal, right? So that's great. First question I always ask him is how fast you're going. If he tells me 30 miles an hour, who cares, right? That just means you're going too fast for that turn. Right? I hope we all understand that for people that are riding these types of motorcycles. If you're in a turn at speed and your boards are scraping, you're going too fast for that turn, period. All right. So, um, so this turns 18 feet. Why not 12 feet? Because even in a competition, it's never going to be tighter than the motorcycle can actually do. Right. So my point is everything out here, if you get proficient in this, you could pretty much do anything on your motorcycle. It's all about confidence. Any questions? Beautiful. This is going to be great, man. This is going to be great. All right. So we already talked about what keeps the motorcycle up. Beautiful. Five steps today, guys. There are five things I want you guys to do all day today. And I'm telling you right now, whenever people run into issues, it's because they're not following these first five steps. And these first five steps you're going to follow before you move your motorcycle anytime today, right? We're not duck walking today. One foot or two. Some of you guys pulled up and did a little duck walk. Okay, that's cool. That was before the, the speech. No more duck walking after today. I want you to challenge yourselves out here. Don't be lazy, right? A lot of times we're lazy, so we don't feel like picking our foot up to put it on the rear brake. So we'll just grab the front brake, right? Don't be lazy. Just we're in a practice frame of mind. We're in a controlled environment. Nothing to hit except each other. Some light poles. If you hit one of these light poles, you did it on purpose. That's all I'm going to say because they kind of spread out enough. So it's a big yellow thing at the bottom. Okay. And no, starting the motorcycle is not one of the steps. Somebody asked me that. Sick boy, is that what you go by? Okay. What's always step number one? Now I'm testing. I'm putting you on blast. What's always step number one? 
before you move this motorcycle, make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Beautiful. We don't have to help harp on that one. Oh, I'm sorry. If you guys at any time today have a question, please ask it. Please. There's no such thing as a stupid question, one. And two, people are watching this all over the world. So I'm guaranteeing you, either somebody has the same question that you have, or somebody sees themselves in you for whatever reason, right? That's why it's so important that we have all levels of skill out here. Like some people go, well, damn, if this guy's an eight, why is he out here? Because it's a practice session. It's not a competition. You have to, you know, so his, his, his goals are different. That's all that means, all right? And if you leave here today, that's why I always give you guys numbers to rate yourselves. It's for you. If you've never practiced this, at the end of the day, you might say, my number went down because it's humbling out here. It really is. Or sometimes people's numbers stay the same. Sometimes people's numbers go up, right? But that number's for you, nobody else. Now, if it's too low, I'm going to tell you, you're sandbagging, right? But if it's too high, I'm not going to say anything. Preloaded Nation will judge you on that. Okay, even though we don't judge. Okay, step number two, Heather. Cover the rear brake. Yes. Does everybody understand that covering the rear brake means I want your foot on it? You can rest your foot, well, at least on the Harleys, you can rest your foot on, and the Indian, you can rest your foot on the brake without applying the brake, right? The reason we cover it is because we're going to take our egos today, guys. I was so happy to see that they cut the grass fresh today for this practice session. Put your egos in the grass. You can pick them up before you leave because we're here to learn, right? And it's an each one teach one environment. So, guys, help each other out. Help me out. You guys would be amazed at how much I learned from you guys. Um, for instance, first exercise we're going to do, short starts and stops. When I first started doing this, I wasn't doing that because in my mind, everybody knows how to stop a motorcycle. Negative. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So, yeah, we're covering the rear brake because everything we do today, guys, is with grace and fluidity. This is how we need to move on the motorcycle. Small increments of movements. Now, I know when you get nervous, nobody's thinking about doing anything small and soft. Everything is like this. But that's never going to be a good thing on a motorcycle at slow speeds. Where's Lee, where's your bride? She's over there? Yes, sir. She could have came over here. She put the chair right here. But anyway, if... If his bride's on the back of his motorcycle and he's going 50 miles an hour and she shifts, it's not a big deal. But if he's going five miles an hour when she does that, it's a huge deal. So everything is exaggerated on your motorcycle at slow speeds as far as movement. So anything we're doing with this, 10 push-ups. Anything we're doing with this, nice and smooth, rear brake, nice and easy. And that's why we're covering it because the rear brake is gonna give you control of your motorcycle. Front brakes for stopping, Rear brake is for control and correction. That's what it's going to do, right? And if your foot's already on it and you feel something, a little bit of pressure puts you right back where you need to be. If your foot's off of it, you're going to smash at it. Almost guaranteed. Step number three. Preload. And? Keep it loaded. Yes. That's my mistake. Preload's big on the merchandise and keep it loaded small. I need to reverse that. Because if you don't preload, the worst that can happen is it's going to stall. Uh, but if you don't keep it loaded, yeah, it can stall too. But if you're in the habit, so I'm going to hop on a few things today if I see it, guys, because a lot of things aren't a big deal going straight. But once we start turning and leaning, if you're in the habit of still doing that, now it's, it's different. Now the bike's risking falling. And I'm not just talking about out here. If you're doing it out here, you're doing it out there, right? And if you fall out there, other stuff can happen. So preload your throttles and keep them loaded. Now, what I find is most people will preload. Sometimes it's like they got, I almost think they think they have to pay me for every RPM because they're like, give, come on, give me some more. Preload, right? Preload the throttle and then keep it there. So your goal today, guys, is once you get that throttle elevated, not too high. If it's too high, I'll let you know. But I don't want, I don't want, right? Elevate it. I want you to listen to that sound and concentrate on keeping it there because whenever we move to the next step, people lose the concentration and I hear the throttles go down. It's the worst time for it to go down because now we're getting ready to move, right? So preload the throttle, listen to the engine and keep it loaded. This is about throttle control, right? Again, small increments of movement. Anybody's motorcycle brand new to them? No, good. So by now we should already know how our clutch works. I'm sorry, how our clutch works, how our throttle works, how sensitive our rear brake is, okay? Now, speaking of the rear brake, your rear brake and your throttle and your clutch. All of these things work together in harmony unless you make them fight, right? We don't want to make them fight. So what I mean is, when I say gentle pressure on the rear brake is all we need, it's all we need. If 
you're applying too much pressure, you're making it fight. That's when we have clutch issues. Outside of that, your clutches are fine, right? They're fine. Every time I see a comment of somebody saying, there goes that clutch, I know they don't know what the hell they're talking about, right? Ignorance is, that's why you got to snap ignorance out quick because it could be like a virus and spread, right? The misconceptions. All right, so preload the throttle and keep it loaded. I'm going to be hopping on it all day today. Step number four. Step number four. Release clutch into the friction zone. Slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. So if you think about this, if we preload the throttle and we keep it loaded, if we slowly release the clutch, it's already loaded, shouldn't the bike start slow? The only way it's going to start faster is if you open your hand too fast. Slowly, but most motorcycle riders are very uncomfortable between 1 and 10 miles per hour. So they're going to open that clutch quick because they deal with that fear or discomfort two ways, speed or duck walking. We're doing neither today, all right? I want you to trust the process. If something doesn't feel comfortable, just trust that this is the answer. Open up your hand, and if you feel like you're going too quickly, that's why we're always covering the rear brake to correct that, right? To correct that. And part of being the boss is just knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it based on what's going on, the circumstances, but mainly what you feel, right? There's a lot of finesse going on with riding one of these motorcycles. And coordination, right? And we're going to talk about the coordination as it pertains to stopping the motorcycle. If you see people stop their motorcycles and they're stopping like this, or they're stopping by putting their foot down once, twice, three times. That's a couple of things, but the main thing is they're not coordinated. Like it's not like somebody else is controlling the bike and they don't know when it's going to stop. They know when the bike is going to stop because they should be stopping it with the rear brake or even the front brake, depending on what speed they're going. So it's a matter of clutch in. Most of us stop with the clutch in and let the bike coast. And then, boop. So all day today, guys, this is how I want your foot coming down when you stop. Or like this, coordinated. So again, if you know you're stopping, you shouldn't say, okay, time to put the foot down. And now all of a sudden the bike goes like that because now you jam the brake. No, it's not a surprise. When we get over there, I'm going to tell you, start at this cone, stop at this cone. So you already know where you're stopping. Start applying that brake, 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 brake. Now, I said this before, in my car, um, I'll drive my car and purposely practice stopping smoothly so that nobody's head does this in the car when I come to a stop, right? So that, of course, that, that pertains if you have a passenger on the back of the motorcycle. But even if you're by yourself, from to all day today, guys... And for the rest of your riding career, every time you stop your motorcycle, I want you to practice stopping so you're putting your foot down like this. It's not going to work out all the time. We're still on two wheels. But every time you stop, shouldn't it, be an, it shouldn't be an adventure. Like your heart rate shouldn't go, oh, crap, you know. Um, and a lot of the time this is happening because, again, most motorcycle riders, when they're stopping, when they put their foot down is when they feel falling. So if they feel falling abruptly, that's why it's going to be an abrupt stop. Front brake. Sometimes the handlebars are turned, which we're not doing today. Don't stop with the handlebars turned. If you need to stop, straighten out the handlebars. Heather, how are we going to do that? We're getting ready to stop. Let's suppose I'm making a turn. I go to make a turn. I start to lean. Something's right here. Oh, crap. Now, the last practice session I was in, the guy told me the same situation. I had to lay her down. What do we have? How do we do with that? And? And rear brake, exactly. Because we all should, power to the rear wheel, these things are designed, I don't care what kind of motorcycle it is, if it's power to the rear wheel, it always wants to stand up and go straight. That's what it wants to do, that's what it's designed to do. So if you're in a lean and you need to straighten out, power. But wait a minute, Rob, power, but I need to stop. Somebody's right here. Rear brake at the same time as the power, right? But not as much power as necessary. 80% rear brake, 20% power. We just need enough power to straighten it out and then come to a smooth stop. Boom. Now, part of that is also a head and eyes thing. That's what I told him because all day I was watching him make turns like this. So I know when he was leaving that gas station, he didn't look. And by the time he saw it, he's already in the lean. So that's why head and eyes, you'll hear me say it. And yes, it does help you make a turn, but it's, I can look this way and still make a nice tight 18 foot U-turn. But it's the safety aspect of it. right? I need you to be accustomed to... Looking before you commit to a turn or a lean, right? It's important that you do that because, again, whatever you do here, you're going to do out there. Any questions? All right, great. First thing we're going to be doing today, 
like I was just talking about, short starts and stops. And again, I make them short. Those cones are 15 feet apart. Um, I make them short because I don't want you to allow the motorcycle to be able to take over. I want you to take off smoothly and I want you to stop smoothly. This is the bread and butter, the fundamental one-on-one -on -one stuff as far as I'm concerned, operating these at slow speed. Because if you're not comfortable in a straight line, starting and stopping, then forget about everything else, right? Uh, and on top of that, most of, us, most of us have been riding for 10, 20, 30 years and still struggling to just stop smoothly, right? So that's why when, I tell, when people tell me, oh, I've been riding this long, you could, do a, you could be doing something wrong for years, right? So I want you to know that there's not always a right or a wrong. Sometimes there's a better way. So if you're doing something that works for you, I might say, okay, fine. If it works for you, keep doing it, depending on what it is. I still might say, well, listen, that might have been working for you. But if this happens and you're still doing that, it's probably not going to end favorably for you, right? So all day today, if you follow the first five steps, taking off easily, it shouldn't be a problem because you're going to slowly release the clutch. Motorcycle's going to start to move. What's step number five? Head and eyes. Pick up your foot. Yes. See, I said head and eyes so much that it's in your head, man. <laughs> as soon as the motorcycle starts to move, pick it up. So I want you guys to trust and believe. When the motorcycle starts to move, your foot shouldn't be behind you. As soon as you feel it start to move, you open up your clutch, it's starting to move, pick your foot up. And you don't have to jerk your foot up. Just pick it up. Like I said, everything we do is subtle, right? Trust and believe it's going to be okay. Now, some of you guys are going to pick your foot up, and I'm going to see this. I know it. Because as soon as you pick your foot up, you might feel, I'm falling. If you feel like you're falling, go into the friction zone. Actually, you're going to be in the friction zone anyway as you start. Stay in the friction zone for that whole ride. Because you're only going 15 feet. Actually, it might be a little bit less. Stay in the friction zone. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Boop. Right? And it's going to work out. Does anybody need to see me demonstrate that? Okay. Excellent. Um, we'll do that a couple of times or whatever, and then we'll go from there. But I want you guys to understand, you've been stopping a motorcycle for years. We should, every motorcycle rider should be an expert at this, and they're not, but you guys are gonna be. Foot down, reload, foot up, stay in the friction zone, friction zone, rear brake, rear brake. Pass the cone. Notice that when I start moving, you start seeing my handlebars go like this, right? And that's because I'm making sure I'm going slow. Your motorcycle is like a coin rolling across the table without power to the rear wheel. That's how your motorcycle is. So as I'm, as I'm going slow, if you, if, you, if you guys do this exercise and you're straight as an arrow, you're going too fast. I want you to feel this and I want you to work it out, right? Work it out with the friction zone, okay? All right. All right, guys, warm up exercise. We got a lot of people out here today. Let's see what we got. All right. You're coming to this cone right here. Remember, because it's already happening. We're following the first five steps all day. And when I said, do me a favor, go around, what did you do? Two, if I see two feet come up, I know you're not doing step number two, which is cover the rear brake. All day today. Just trust me, guys. All right, right here. Man, this bike looks good. Do not pass the cone. Good, 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 good. All right, you passed the cone. Don't let your front wheel pass the cone, okay? All right, try it again. Reload. Good, good. 
All right, now, so that's happened in two because you're not staying in the friction zone. Stay in the friction zone a little bit longer. Okay? All right. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. There we go. Nice. Do that again. Good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Beautiful. One more time. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Outstanding. You can go park. That was nice. He's like a new man there. First cone. All right, nice and easy. Second cone. Don't let your front wheel pass the cone. Good, good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right, so right now what you're doing is when you feel like, when you feel the bike falling, you say time to stop and you put your foot down. Preload your throttle. Keep it loaded. Preload it. Preload it. Keep it up there. Good, good, good. Rear brake. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Good. Do that again. Preload. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. So right there, I saw your foot go like this. Remember, that's why you're covering it. When you start out, start out already applying a little bit of pressure. And just hold that pressure, drag it. Good, good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right, so too much speed on the takeoff. Slowly release the clutch. Not all the way. Good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right, good job. You can go park. Go park. Got Lee here. I told Lee I'm never going to forget his name. First cone. Nice. Second cone. Nice preload. All right, make sure your front wheel doesn't pass the cone. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Go park over there. Yeah. Good. Reload. All right. A little slower, Lee. A little slower. Good, 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 good. Excellent, you can go for it. Good job. Cover that rear brake the whole time. Tell me your name again. Chuck. Chuck, okay. Good, keep it loaded. Good, 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 good. Nice. Oh, easy on that rear brake at the end. Nice and smooth. Reload, keep it loaded, rear brake, rear brake. Drag it, drag it, drag it. You pass the cone, don't pass that cone with your front wheel. Preload, good, hold it. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. There we go, that's what I like to see, do it again. Good, good, good. All right, nice and easy, one more. Preload, keep it loaded. Your whole engine is shaking because the throttle's low. All right, go Paul, good job. So again, the Holly Davidson is going to let you know if the throttle's too low. Good. Covering the rear brake. Preload. Good, good, good. Nice, Heather. Do it again. Now I watch Heather pull up, and she was smooth. Very nice. Preload. Good, good. That's right. Work it out. Work it out. Anytime you feel that, just open up the clutch. That's right. Trust and believe, Heather said. Reload. Good, good, good. All right, one more. Reload. Open up the clutch. Open it up. Open it up. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it open. Nice. Good job. One more. Do one just like that. Reload. Reload, good, good, rear brake, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Outstanding, Heather, outstanding. Very nice, very nice. Second cone. Very 
Very good, very good. Check out the Indy Ridge boots, guys. All right, do it again, too nice. Head and eye, straight ahead, good. There you go, work it out, work it out. Nice, one more time. Outstanding, man, you can go pump. Good job. All right, so look, when you take off, bring that foot up right away, the left foot, and uh, I want you to drag the rear brake. Like, don't take your foot off totally, just drag it. Trust me, stay in the friction zone and drag the rear brake. Very light pressure. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. See, now you're taking off too fast, and I also don't want your front wheel to pass that cone. All right? Head and eye straight ahead, slowly release the clutch. Keep it loaded, good, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Okay, so this is the coordination thing. Remember I said, it's not a surprise when you're stopping. So you're already dragging the brake. Keep applying gradual pressure, 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 so that when you do stop, it's smooth, not abrupt. Good. All right, I want you to take off a little bit slower. You ain't gonna need that. I know it's a habit. <laughs> Preload. Head and eye straight ahead. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. So I'm saying rear brake, rear brake, and you're not applying any more rear brake. If I start saying rear brake, just keep applying it. Nice and easy. Good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right. Good job. Go park. So yeah, he's got to be comfortable riding in the friction zone slow speeds beautiful tell me your name again Jim. Jim okay next cone don't let the front wheel pass the cone head and eye straight ahead nice Jim nice take off a little slower there you go there you go there you go I'm not going to waste your time. That was outstanding. Go park, man. Very nice. First cone. Okay. I want you to make sure you don't pass the cone with your front wheel. Okay? Keep your head in your eyes. Straight ahead. Look at my camera or look at Joe. Free low. Good. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Nice. Do that again. Are you putting your left foot back on the peg when you're moving? I don't want you to leave it out. As soon as it starts to move, pick that leg up. Good, 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 good. All right, nice, not bad at all. A little slower, a little slower. Good, friction zone, friction zone, rear brake, rear brake. One more time. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right, it's a little abrupt, but it's okay. We'll work on it. We can go park. All right, this is Tom. I remember his name. All right, don't let your front wheel pass the cone. Okay, head and eye, straight ahead. Look at Joe. Nice, take off a little slower. Another pair of Indy Ridge boots, guys. Good, 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 good. Very nice, do that again. A little more preload. There we go, there we go. Because you guys, you hear some engine puttering. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Last one. Good job, man. His bars are low too, and we're gonna talk about that. Nice. Very nice. See him working it out? Good. When you see the handlebar starting to move, friction zone's gonna keep it up. Don't worry about it. All right, one more. The bike's shaking. Give me a little more preload. There we go, there we go. Looks and sounds different. Good job, brother. And last but certainly not least, Limited looks nice. Tell me your name again. Rich. Rich. All right, Rich. Don't let your front wheel pass the cone. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good, 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 good. 
Good, start out a little slower. Good, preload. Good, good, good. And we got Indy Ridge boots here too. Oh my gosh, it's a bunch of people wearing them. <laughs> All right, next cone. Good, good, good. Nice. Next cone. All right, one more. All right, good job. You can go park. All right, guys, so you see, this is it's so important. We gotta, I'm going to talk to them about a few things, but this exercise is just, we'll talk about it. All right, so guys, I'm not exaggerating even a little bit when I say that's bread and butter. Because if you feel uncomfortable, like some people were going from cone to cone, keeping this foot extended. We want both our feet on the footboards or the pegs, right? This is not gonna, we don't need this for anything. So what's the purpose of it doing this? Unless you're trying to do a quadricep exercise or something. Both feet on there. A lot of you guys look really good, right? Some of you guys are doing the abrupt takeoff, right? And again, I expected that, but we're gonna work on that. Remember, the friction zone and the rear brake make the motorcycle wanna stand. Who here was in the military? Thank you for your service. So if you hear Tin Hut, you get rigid, right? Tin Hut! That's your motorcycle if you're using the rear brake gingerly and the friction zone at the same time. It's gonna make the motorcycle feel rigid and stable. So that's why, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's... Tell me your name again. Chris. Chris. So when Chris started, his handlebars are like all over the place, right? And that's what I wanna see. Uh, the names are going to be tough today. I'm telling you now, guys. Jim. Jim, same thing. But I want to see that because now he's working it out. Guys, everybody can ride in a straight line. Everybody. That's easy because the motorcycle is taking care of that for you. I want you to go so slow that you feel this. We're going to do that when we do the slow ride exercise number two anyway. But that's the start of it right there. It's, it's that initial takeoff. So if I told you to take off a little bit slower, it's because I'm thinking ahead. When we get to exercise number four, well, you have to make a right turn, 90 degrees, that fast, fast takeoff is not gonna help you when we're doing it from a stop. So you need to be comfortable picking up your foot and as soon as that, that's why we do this in steps, slowly release the clutch. As soon as it starts to move, pick up your foot. It's already moving. So that's why when people tell me how heavy their motorcycle is, the only time that's relevant really is when you're picking it up after a drop. Once it's moving, the weight is irrelevant as long as you keep sufficient power to the rear wheel. So now some of you guys, um, remember the Harley Davidson, they're always shaking, but it's gonna really be shaking if your throttle is just about to shut off, it's too low. So I'm gonna tell you, if I say, bless you, if I say throttle, throttle, I'm not telling you to go faster. I'm telling you to raise your RPMs, they're too low, right? So sometimes I'll notice that people continuously, the throttle keeps dropping. So I'll tell them raise it even higher. Because if, you, if you're starting out at 1,500, and then before you start to move, you drop down to 1,100, that could be a problem. So I'll start you at 2,000. Now if you drop to 1,500, you're good in that turn. And the more you do this, you're going to have an ear for that throttle. I understand that when you're nervous, I may as well be in a Charlie Brown cartoon. Wah, 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 wah. You're not listening to really what I'm saying. It's not, because, it's not that you don't want to. It's just that you're concentrating so much on whatever. Uh, that it, it, that's why the benefit of recording this is that when you get home, you can watch this uh, in a calm mind and actually be able to see it from a different vantage point. All right. So I need you to trust and believe like uh, Heather was stopping one time and the bike is falling. And then, what did I say before? I said a lot of the times when people feel falling, time to stop. So they just break. No. Friction zone. Friction zone is going to ride it. So when you saw me making this turn and I'm trying to hold it still, as soon as I felt like it was going to fall, I opened up the clutch. I told you, guaranteed all your money back, it's not going to fall. So you don't have to put a foot down. Um, and as we're moving forward, where is he at? Tell me your name. Terry. Terry. So Terry would move forward and he would move forward with some speed. So I said, all right, let's do this. 
When you start off, start off already applying light pressure to the rear brake. And then once you open the clutch, if, you open, if you're opening your clutch and your bike is bogging down, too much pressure on the rear brake, right? We don't want them to fight. It's just like in your car. If you have an automatic transmission and you're moving in traffic, if you want to move your car a short distance, you pick your foot off the brake, the car's going to start moving. The more you pick your foot off, the faster it's going to go. Well, in contrast, on the rear brake, if you're trying to stop slowly, if you start off on the rear brake already, that's the same as you in the car, letting the car move. So your automatic transmission is the preload. So you have the power, the clutch. As you're getting closer to your stop, you should gradually be applying rear brake pressure so that when you come to that stop, your front fork should barely compress. For some of you guys, I told you, I don't want that front wheel to go past the cone. So now it's like, brake, 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 brake. <clears throat> no, no. So I mean, that's, that's coordination. That's what I was talking about before. We're just caught out of coordination. Okay, you guys have any questions about that? Outstanding. And guys, we just got here. And like I always say, I don't want you to beat yourselves up out here if you're not getting something. And I'm talking about as far as physically. If you leave here today and all you have is a better understanding, then that's progress, right? Because that's how we learn. That's how we get, gain confidence. If you drop your bike today, it's par for the course, right? This is the place to do it, not out there. But I'm always going to ask you what happened. And I can tell you right now, I can be blindfolded and tell you what happened. At slow speeds, if the bike falls, not enough power to the rear wheel, right? So when I say sufficient power, you can have your RPMs up to 8,000. If you're not in the friction zone enough, it's pointless, right? So if at any time today you preload, and it's one of those times where you're like, I'm listening to this throttle. If you open up your clutch and you go to turn and you feel the bike falling and you feel confused, what the hell, why, I, why do I still feel falling even though I hear my RPMs are high enough? You're not in the friction zone enough. That's why I say sufficient power. So if you feel falling, falling, you guys see when I was making this turn right here? All I'm doing in there is, and we're going to talk about that as we progress in today, I'm finding a spot with my throttle that I like, and I'm, I'm concentrating on keeping it there, that sound. So when you were coming down and his bike was going, where's the Indian? Okay. His bike was going, gluck, 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 right? We want our throttle to sound like a flat line on an EKG machine. This is the one time a flat line's good. Raise the RPMs and make it steady. I don't want to, because uh, uh, uh. if you hear that, it's low, right? And you might be fine, but you might not be. And if you're in the habit of doing that going straight, you're probably going to do it in the turn. But anyway, I'm finding the spot in the friction zone that I'm comfortable with, and I'm keeping it there. Once I'm, I'm sorry, with my throttle, I'm keeping it there. Once I'm in the friction zone, wherever I am in the friction zone and I'm comfortable, I'm keeping it there. Now, all I have to do is turn my head in my eyes and lean the bike and use the rear brake to correct anything that needs to be corrected. Because if I make a U-turn in there, how long was I on my rear brake? Two seconds? Three seconds? Not a big deal. Dragging. So I want you guys to know we don't stab at the brake. I'm looking at some of you guys as you're doing the slow ride, and I see your foot going like this. So if your foot's going like this, your bike's going to go like this. We don't want it to buck, right? So... I'm going to show you something really quickly, guys. I'm just going to ride my bike past you guys. And I just want you to look at my foot on the rear brake as I'm moving. All right? Just look at my foot. Because this is what we did if we were doing any type of procession or anything like that. In formation. Everybody's doing the same thing, the slow ride. Now, sometimes it's appropriate to move your foot more than other times because something happens unexpectedly. But for the most part, smooth. So even when I'm making this turn, if you can see my foot. See my foot moving? Because I'm just dragging it. Once I find a good spot, just keep it there. And now if I do need to move it, it's such a small increment, you probably, you shouldn't be, I shouldn't see this. All right? Any questions? Beautiful. All right. Moving on, guys. Exercise number one. Now we're going to do stops and starts. But now you guys, you guys are going to be coming from a distance. Go down here. You're going to ride toward me. I'm going to be down here. I want you to get up to second gear, right? This is not emergency braking. You don't have to be going fast. You can be going 20 miles an hour. But I just want you to be accustomed to initially, initially, starting to tell me your name again. I'm sorry. Terry. Terry pulled up and he had the one finger on the front brake. 
He wasn't grabbing it, but he had his finger on it. A lot of us were taught to ride like this, cover the front brake. And that's a great idea. But once it's time for slow speed maneuvers, you don't need to do that because you're never going to use that, right? All you're doing is sacrificing your grip on your handlebars. So forget about covering the front brake at slow speeds. Come off. Oh, before we get to the next exercise, guys, you'd be surprised how much a difference it makes if your handlebars are too low, right? Like if I ride a stock street glide, forget about it. I can't even turn it because it's hitting my legs. Uh, and I just did a private lesson before I came here on, uh, on Thursday. And one of the guys had a street glide. He's not tall, but it doesn't matter. Every time he goes to turn, his arms, his elbow is hitting the inside of his body. So I had him sit on my bike. I said, dude, make that turn on my bike like it was nothing because it's liberating. Nothing crazy, but it's liberating to be able to have your hands at least about right here. Not here. This is no good. No good. Now, again, most motorcycle riders only know how to go straight and make slight turns. So that's why it's not a big deal if they get real high handlebars, real wide handlebars. But once you join Preloader Nation and you actually turn your motorcycle, oh shoot, if I turn my bar to the right all the way and I can't comfortably reach my clutch, these bars are too wide or too high, something has to be changed. These are low. These are very low, right? And it, it, trust me, it, it, it affects things. As we progress in the day, you'll see it affects things. All right. Anybody here practice emergency braking? No, you do. Okay. Not old crap braking, emergency braking, right? So we know that if we really want to stop this motorcycle, what brakes are we using, Heather? That's right. Front and rear. And we don't grab, squeeze, 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 foot brake, 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 right? What are we doing at the same time? Downshifting, right? And it's something that most people don't know. If you don't practice, it's just squeeze and hope for the best anyway. I'm talking about emergency braking. But the downshifting is important because uh, you want to be able to get down to first gear. But if you can't, you, shouldn't, you don't want to be in sixth gear. Because if you're riding down the highway and you, you kind of look to the left and then you look back and the traffic's not moving and you emergency brake very well, but you don't downshift. And then all of us usually when we stop short, we check our mirrors and we see the car behind us is not stopping. If you're in sixth gear, even if you're very proficient at this, you're screwed. Every second counts then, right? But if you know, if you, even if you're in the right gear, if this stuff is a problem for you, you're still screwed. So when people say, hey, I don't need to do this, this, it comes in more than you think. Here's another example. We know practice, and I say this all the time, practicing gives us options out there in the real world. And your options are limited to your skill level. So if you never practice, your options are almost zero. So the last private lesson I had, if I told the guy, all right, listen, good job, come back around. He used almost a whole parking lot to come back to me, right? Because in his mind, that's his only option where one of us would be like, okay, and bam, I'm right back here. So by the end of the day, he wasn't doing that anymore. That's why this is so important. It's so important, options. And a U-turn shouldn't be an old crap moment. You guys do group rides? I mean, I'm, I say this all the time and I know it's, once you get proficient at this, group rides are gonna annoy the crap out of you, right? Because you see how many people are deficient, dangerous. So you're annoyed and scared at the same time and you wanna be in the back, right? But if I go on a ride with my buddies, there's certain buddies that I know if I'm gonna make a U-turn, everybody's gonna be with me. Nothing crazy, just a U-turn. Other people, Again, we don't judge them, we don't make fun of them, we help them, or at least we try. Okay. So the reason, the reason I brought up downshifting is because that's what I want you to do. As you're braking, front brake, rear brake, or front brake only, whatever, downshift. And when you stop at me, I want you to stop, same thing, nice and smooth, bing. And then when you go to take off, follow the first five steps, preload, listen to your throttle, nice smooth takeoff, that's it. And, and then you can come back here and you can park. Any questions? You might need a demo. demo. Demo? Okay. Oh, and remember I was telling you guys that when you're coming to a stop, and sometimes actually it was happening with you, when you start getting to that point where the handlebars start going like this and it feels like, ah, uh, how do you make sure, how do you right that motorcycle? How do you make it feel more? Don't put your foot down. Friction zone. So let me do that first. I want you to listen to my throttle as I'm stopping. I'm going to pull the clutch all the way in as I'm coming towards you. And as soon as I feel the handlebar starting to do this, I'm gonna go back into the friction zone to finish it out.
right? Clutch it all the way in. I heard the throttle go up. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Now I pull the clutch in. So I'm doing the slow ride all the way up until I know I'm gonna put my foot down. Then I pull the clutch in. I wear the motorcycle true. So when I say we're following five steps, uh, keep in mind I put steps on it because when people forget stuff, their brains race and wander. So if I put steps on it, you could just follow the numbers. And then eventually you just do it. So when I say make sure it's in first gear, I see people all the time before they move, they do this. It's just a habit now, right? And when they preload, they're not sitting there for 12 seconds preloaded, you know. As soon as you hear it, you open up the clutch slowly, everything kind of happens together. All right? Any more questions? All right, guys, exercise number one stops and starts. Hey, Quinn, there's chairs down there if you want to grab one. Sitting on the damn thing like a hobo. <laughs> outstanding, man, outstanding. You know what? See these cones? These orange ones, the taller ones? Come around and park right in front of them, facing this way. Nice. Very good. Lee Sturgis, starting out right. Good, front brake, front brake, off. Outstanding. Park over there. <laughs> a little heavy. A little heavy. All right. Guys, look at this damn skid mark. <laughs> so that's why you got to know how to brake properly. If you don't have ABS, this is going to show you. I told these guys, it's not emergency braking, so I want you to come nice and easy. Excellent. You heard that chugger log? And he's also starting without covering the rear brake. So he's not following the first five steps there. There you go. That's all I wanted. Nice and easy. Look at the skid mark. <laughs> Good job. Very nice. All right, we got Heather here. There we go. Just a nice clip of speed. Off the front brake. Nice. That's just a coordination thing. That's all that is. So you put your foot down before the bike was really going to start. And that's why it ended up behind you. We just got to get... This is controlling both things. We just got to put it together. Good job. Cover the rear brake. Good. All right. Custom Dynamics light on the back. We got a lot of Custom Dynamics out here today, guys. Not surprising. Pretty much any place you go, you're going to see Custom Dynamics. Oh my God, that was beautiful. You guys heard the throttle go back up right before the end? That's why it's so smooth. Good job, man. I'm not surprised. Indy Ridge boots, Custom Dynamics lights. All right, so you were pretty much on the rear brake the whole time. I wanted you to start on the front brake and then transition. Yeah, but that's fine. It's nice and smooth. Park over here. Nice. Very nice takeoff. Again, guys, I'm not just looking. See, you saw that? He picked the Well, you didn't see that. Started out with two feet on the ground, so he's not following the steps. Now, his bars are too low. All right, so you're, you did the same thing. You're on the rear brake the whole time. You're supposed to start with the front or both, right? Because it's a lot of stopping power. Go ahead. I was concentrating on trying to use that rear brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my head. Well, you used it. Used you used it. <laughs> All right. Cover the rear brake. Good. Reload. Good job. Yeah, guys, I don't want people to one to ten miles per hour. That's it. And in this case, it could be right to it could be right at the last minute. Because remember, we're finishing out with it. Nice. Preload, preload, preload. See, you hear that? You hear the chug a lot, guys? I gotta put my umbrella over my camera. I forgot about that.
Very nice. Heard his throttle go up? Beautiful. Excellent. All the way around. All right, this is Terry, I believe. I'm going to get these names. Nice. Reload! There we go, baby. All right, see, that's why we pay attention to that, because he's going straight when that happened. Imagine if he was in the lean. All right, we'll talk about it. All right, so that exercise. It's so funny how some people, why are you laughing, man? Because you know. <laughs> it, all he did was show us the importance of knowing how to properly brake, because he doesn't have ABS. So that skid mark, as long as, remember I told you guys, I don't need you to speed to me, just, you know, come, it's like coming to a regular stop, right? But when he finished that stop, it was smooth, right? When he took off, it was smooth. Some of you guys were on the rear brake the whole stop. It's not what I want because remember, if you really want to stop this motorcycle, you need to use the front brake. I wanted you to front brake, both brakes if one, and then transition at the end because we're finishing out stops with the rear brake, right? Your front brake is like a paint roller. It doesn't matter how, how you do it. It's going to be all right. The rear brake is like cutting with the fine paintbrush. It's going to smooth everything out, right? It takes a lot more finesse. So your stop, Front brake's a lot of stopping power. Can you stop smoothly with it? Yeah, you gotta really pay attention though. But it's, I'm a, one time I took my bike to the gas station and I told myself I'm not gonna use my rear brake at all. I mean, I know I've been, I haven't ridden, I've never ridden like this, so it was so strange to me. But every time I stopped the bike, it was dipping. It's just too much stopping power, right? Finish it off. So even one to 10 miles per hour, that's when you should be anywhere near that rear brake. Unless you're doing like coming from speed and you wanna really stop the bike and using both brakes. So I think some of you guys are like, I'm not doing no damn push-ups. So rear brake the whole way. Okay, I get it, all right? Um, and then on the takeoff, I think it was the Indian. Yeah, no, it wasn't the Indian. It was the trunk, whatever. Preload and keep it loaded, guys. It almost shut off. So again, if we don't check it here, it's gonna bite us out there when we don't want it to bite us, all right? Any questions, guys? Again, some of you guys from the start, I see two feet down, I call you up. I see two feet come up, not following the first five steps. That's okay, you know. So I, I often ask for stuff and don't get it. For instance, we're not leaning until we get to exercise number five. And then when we get to five, I'm gonna want lean. Some of you guys are not gonna give it to me. So some people are stubborn, you know. They say, screw you, Rob, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And I'm fine with that. Uh, any questions? Outstanding. Exercise number two, guys, slow ride. So the, the same way you saw me riding next to you, that's what you guys are gonna do. I'm going to have you guys go down there again. And then I'm going to have you ride to me. Normal speed. Stop right here. All we're doing is reinforcing what we just did, but not with second gear. Just ride toward me. Come to a smooth stop. And then we're going to do a slow ride. I'm going to walk aside you. Do not pass me. I want you to be at my walking pace. Keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. Now, you can do this in one of three ways. In fact, Sick Boy, I think, was, he was doing it when we first started that. So when you preload your throttle and slowly release the clutch and the motorcycle starts to move, you could do that and then pull the clutch in. Let it coast a little bit. And as soon as you feel, uh-oh, open it up, close it back, rear brake if you need it. You could do it that way. Or preload the throttle, open up the clutch slowly. As soon as you start to move, foot on the rear brake and just drag it, drag it. Now you don't have to worry about anything here. I'm eliminating you have to worry about your hands. Just drag the rear brake. Just like your car, if you want to move it up, the same thing. We're not going to do it long. I'm not doing all of these cones. I just want to see that you're relatively comfortable, and then I'll tell you, all right, go park over there, okay? Um, or you could do a variation of both, rear brake, clutch, right? Because at the end of the, the, the final goal of all of this practicing stuff is for you to be comfortable on your bike, comfortable in the friction zone, comfortable with clutch control, comfortable with throttle control, comfortable with your rear brake, all right? All right. Questions? Demonstration? No? Sick boy? All right, guys, exercise number two, slow ride.
All right, good. Ready? Yeah. All right, head and eye, straight ahead. Yeah. Excellent. You can park over there. All right, ready? Let's do it. Good job. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Beautiful. See how slow he started out? Beautiful. Good job, man. Started out nice and slow. He picked his foot up, the bike was barely moving. Nice, good stop. Ready? All right, let's do it. Excellent. Outstanding. Ready? All right, let's do it. Good job. Did you see him correct that? He started off more abruptly than he wanted to. What did he do? He corrected with the rear brake. He pulled the clutch in, got the bike back the way he wanted, and then went right back to work. Beautiful. Nice. Ready? All right, head and eye, straight ahead. Do it. Reload, reload. Good. Come to a smooth stop. Outstanding. Got Jogo Motorcycle Adventures behind the camera looking like a security guard, maybe. Very nice, man. You ready? Let's do it. Good job. Very nice. See how comfortable he looks? The other road glide too, the blue one. Very comfortable right from the start. Friction zone, that's why. All right, good stop. Ready? All right, let's do it. Good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Good, good, good. Come to a smooth stop. It's nice and smooth. There we go, good job. All right, ready? Yep. Every time I see Territus Pizza, yeah. I have a flashback of the whole thing, trying to figure out who this person is. Because there was no name, it's the uh, business. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Reload, there we go. Head and eye straight ahead. Good. Good, good. Come to a smooth stop. Good job. Reload! Throttle's too low on the takeoff. Last pra practice session, 68. It was the same thing with the guy riding the Indian. All right, ready? Yep. Let's do it. Keep it loaded. Throttle's too low. Keep it loaded. Slow down, slow down. You're passing me. You're Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Ah. You all right? Okay, so what you did there, you held on to the bike the whole time, yeah. so you pulled it beyond the guards. All right. No, 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 don't do that. You're going to hurt your back. Hold up. Is it off? No. No. I got it, man. Sure? Yeah. No, I got it. Don't do the seat, because you'll mess up the seat. Don't grab anything. I got it. Okay. Left on right, right on left, push. You're pulling with this hand up. You're pushing with this hand forward, and at the same time, we're going to step forward. You just got to do it simultaneously. I almost pushed it all the way over. <laughs> Why did it fall? Well, I went reaching for that back brake. Mm -hmm. Stab it. That's why it fell? That's well, not why it fell. Didn't have the clutch out either. There you go. 
There you go. There you go. And you were doing fine. Except yeah, it, as soon as it started yeah. going like this, you didn't like the way it felt, clutch in. Clutch in. Yeah, because that's what we do. When you get nervous, you squeeze. Your feet go like that, all that stuff. All right, you can go, Puck. Cover the rear brake. First five steps, no duck walking. All right, ready? Let's do it. Slow down, slow down. Good job. All right, ready? Let's do it. Slow down, slow down, good, good. There we go, we made the correction. Good. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Nice and easy on that rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. <laughs> keep it loaded. All right, I'll meet you over there, man. All right, guys, we want to be comfortable with this because all of this builds on one another. We'll talk about it. Tell me your name again. Charlie. Charlie, how tall are you? Okay. When you're 6'2 and your bike's low, it looks even worse when you duck walk. Because Charlie was walking up, he, looked, he was like... <laughs> All right. I'm okay, by the way. Yeah, I know you're okay. I asked you. You don't have any Allen wrenches, do you? That little... I got you. He's got you. Okay. I'm always... A... Actually, I do have Allen wrenches. Um, but I don't know if you guys saw Charlie when he dropped his bike. Charlie dropped his bike. And... Charlie, your bike got a name? No. No. Jane Doe. He dropped Jane Doe. And he was like, come on with me, Jane. And that's the only reason he pulled it all the way over. So that's what I was talking about. Of course, I wanted him to just open up his clutch. But as soon as he felt, uh-oh, that's what he did, right? And when I asked him what happened, he said, too much rear brake. No, just clutch, right? All right. Uh, any questions on that, guys? That, that, and this. So if you guys don't know, all of these exercises build on one another. And even when we get all the way up to this, we're still going to be talking about stuff we did first because it's always relevant, right? Um, and riding your motorcycle at slow speeds, straight up, takes more skill, in my opinion, than doing anything leaning. Because when you're leaning, you have speed. So you, can, you, start, you have that to help you. Straight up, it's all on you, right? How ironic that we're at an airport, and I always use the analogy of the flight, the pilot, at 30,000 feet. On autopilot, I don't know how to fly a plane, but I can sit in that seat. It'll look good, too. That's your motorcycle. Anybody can sit on that seat at speed. But when he's landing that plane, he's got to be the boss of that plane. It's on him. Although these planes do have the technology to land themselves, but they don't use that unless that's an emergency, right? Okay. Do you trust and believe? Now, I'm going to ask you this question, guys. Does everyone here trust and believe that as long as you provide sufficient power to the rear wheel, everything's going to be okay? Eventually, yes. Yes, eventually. Yes? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. I like the... Most of those answers are genuine. Most of them are not. Because when I ask people that, they, it's almost like they think I'm asking, do, I, do you understand the concept of it? You, I know you understand it. But at any point, if you put your foot out, you're showing you don't trust it and you don't believe it. Because if you did, you wouldn't put your foot out. You would just open up your hand. Right? So that's what this next exercise is going to cover. It's called trust and belief for that reason. Um, is anybody here unfamiliar with trust and belief? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, you are. Okay, good. Five steps for this exercise. What's always step number one? Hold up. Before I even get to that, two road glides. You guys are just very, very, uh, hold up. And actually, Sick Boy 2 and this road. What's going on with the road glides? Very comfortable when you take off. You guys take off nice and easy. You stop, and as, as you're stopping, I'll hear the throttle come back up. So good. You guys got that concept down. We got a motorcycle gang coming. Anybody here armed? I'm kidding. Those are preloaders. I know it. Uh, if not, they're affiliated. Okay, step number one is what? Gear. Yeah, make sure it's in first gear all the time. Step number two? Cover the brake. Brake. That's right. Step number three? Free brake. Free brake. Free brake. Exactly. And keep it loaded, guys, especially in this exercise. Step number four is different now. It still involves the clutch. I want you to bring your clutch right before the friction zone. 
So while you're sitting there, preloaded, start opening up your clutch. When you feel it bite, pull it in just a little. Don't pull it in a lot. I want you right before it. And then step number five is just pick up your left foot. I don't want that bike moving at all. And when you start feeling it falling, open up your hand. Now we're going to test if you really trust and believe it, right? Now, seems like it's simple, right? You would think that we were doing it on a two by four and then it was a 20 feet drop because people are petrified. So let me go over this. The purpose of this exercise is not for you to see how long you can balance your bike. If you pick up your foot and as soon as you pick it up, you feel it fall on the other side. Don't put the other foot down. You're in the exercise. Open up your hand. Don't pop it open. Hey, guys, you can park over here. Yeah, don't, don't park on the road. You can park in here. You're good. Right over here, by the chairs. Nah, we're good. Yeah, just make sure you preload and keep it loaded, man. <laughs> All right. Where was I? Okay, yeah. Don't pop the clutch open. Now, remember I talked about knowing what to do based on what you feel? If you pick up your foot, bike's not moving, and you say, I'm going to count to five Mississippi. Now the bike's all the way here. Now you might have to pop the clutch, right? Throttle it a little bit even, right? But that's not what we're doing. And when we do this exercise, once you start moving, I want you to come to a smooth stop. See, we're always practicing stopping. What's the three C's in preloading nation? Yes, that's it. Confidence, that's always the first one because it's the most important. Everything follows that. Confidence, control, consistency, right? I need you to be in control at all times. So when we do this exercise, you're going to come to a smooth stop, right? We're not flying out. I'm going to demonstrate it. Now, it's funny, everybody that took off from there, not following the first five steps, feet out, but we're pushing the rock uphill, guys. Also, keep in mind, maybe before I get home, Preload a Nation will be at 100,000 subscribers, right? And I want you to keep in mind that the people that subscribe to this channel, it's, it's only about 20, 21%. So it's a large amount of people that watch, but they're not subscribed. So we're touching more people than, you actually, than the numbers actually show, and that's a good thing. All right. Now, I'm going to do this right in front of you guys. I'm not nervous. I'm not hitting you because I'm in control. That's why I'm covering the rear brake. As soon as I feel it start to fall, I'm just going to open up my hand, right? And don't let this bike move at all. If I see your bike doing this, I'm going to say it's moving. Control that. Rear brake if you have to. First gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload. Keep it there. Clutch. All right, right there. Foot's down, foot up. Come to a smooth stop. I'm gonna do it again facing this way so you can see my foot. First gear, cover the rear brake, cover the rear brake. Reload, clutch, good, foot, all right, full disclosure, that time I didn't open the clutch as soon as I felt it falling. I let it fall a little bit more because I just wanted you to see all I did was throttle it a little bit more. It's going to go in that direction, but it's going to straighten out, come to a smooth stop. Now, if you guys are sitting there preloaded and I see the back of your bike moving down, I know that you're holding the rear brake and you're in the friction zone. I don't want that. Don't make them fight, right? I want you before the friction zone. Trust and believe. It's going to be all right. Any questions? Sick boy, right here. Look at these guys. They're like 12 feet tall, all of them. Now, right here, right here. All right, you're good, you're good, you're good. All right, you got the concept? First gear, yeah. covering the rear brake. Yeah. All right, preload the throttle. Make sure you keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. Yeah. Preload it. Keep it. Hold it. Preload it. Give me some more. Give me some more. All right, when you're ready, pick up this foot. Don't let the bike move an inch. Bring your clutch right before the friction zone. I'm sorry. Okay, yours is early. Bring it in. Okay. 
Keep that throttle loaded. Pick up your foot. Don't let the bike move. Now open it up. Open it up. Go back around. Go around. You know what you're doing, Lee? Yes, sir. Show them how it's done. And a stop. Beautiful. Looking smooth in that turn, that left turn. So you ready? <laughs> you ready for the next exercise? You know what you're doing? I think so. All right. First gear. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to come to a smooth stop. Okay. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's two in a row. Let's make it three. Man, you matching the cones. I just realized that. Yeah. All right, you know what you're doing here? First gear, coming to the rear brake. Yep. Right before the friction zone, keep that throttle loaded. When you're ready, pick up this left foot. Don't let that bike move at all. Reload. Good, let it out, let it out. Ah, stop, do it again. Do it from right there. Just to believe, baby. Yeah. Give me some more preload. You gotta hold that preload, there we go. Don't let the bike move, it's moving. It's moving, let it out, let it out. Come to a smooth stop. Nice, three in a row, baby. Oh yeah, four in a row, baby, come on. All right, you know what you're doing? All right, show them how it's done. It's gonna be four in a row. Don't forget to come to a smooth stop. There we go. There we go, four in a row. Yeah. Nice, nice stop. All right, you know what you're doing here? Yeah, but I'm not confident at all. Okay, don't worry about it. We'll see what we got. First gear, yes? Covering the rear brake. All right, good. Preload. Give me some more. Yeah, hold it right there. Right before the friction zone. Good, right there. When you're ready, pick up this foot. Don't let the bike move. When you feel forward, open up this hand. And then come to a smooth stop. Good, look, open it, open it, open it. Open it, open it, open it. Now right there, I'm holding the bike up, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's back up. All right. So I got my hand on this, so don't worry about it. Preload. Give me some more. More. Good. Hold it right there. When you're ready, pick up this foot. When you feel falling, open up that hand and come to a smooth stop. Good. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Come to a stop. Nice. Five in a row, guys. All right. You know what you're doing? Show them how it's done, man. Head and eyes. Straight ahead. Do it again. Trust and believe, baby. There we go. Smooth stop. Maybe not. All right. First gear, yes. Oh, yeah, you can actually see it on your bike. Yeah. Cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle. Hold it there. Right before the friction zone. Right before the friction zone. All right, good. Pull it in. A little bit, pull it in. All right, when you're ready, pick up this foot. Don't let the bike move. When you feel, open it up, come to a stop. All right, I'll take it. First five steps. Make sure you're covering that rear brake. All right, first gear, yes, covering the rear brake, yes. Preload. Give me some more preload. Good, hold it there. Right before the friction zone, clutch. When you're ready, no, nope, you're moving, don't let the bike move. When you're ready, pick up this left foot. Don't let the bike move, you're moving, you're moving. Get out of the friction zone, pull the clutch in. Yeah, see that? All right, I don't want you in the friction zone, right before it. Oh, easy, whoa! 
<laughs> nice and easy, guys. Nice. All right. Coordination. Don't put that foot down until you're ready to stop. You know what you're doing here? Yes. All right. Show me that you know. Trust and believe. Keep it loaded. Give me some more preload. Hold it right there. Get out of the friction zone. The back of your bike is sitting. Come to a stop. All right. Good job. All right. You know what you're doing here? Oh, man. First gear, covering the rear brake. Okay, preload your throttle and hold it there. It's a balance, right? Yeah, it happens, man. Give me some more. All right, good. Right before the sweet spot. Open it up. When you feel it biting, pull it back in. All right. Pick this leg up. Keep it loaded. When you feel falling, open up your hand. And then come to a smooth stop. Foot up. Let it out. Ah, trust and believe. You got to let it out. Reload. Foot up. Let it out. Let it out. Trust and believe, baby. more preload. Good. Put up. Let it out. Let it out. Come to a stop. All right. All right. Let's do that again. Preload. Give me some more preload. Good. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Foot up. Foot up. Let it out. Come to a stop. Nice! All right, let's make this count. First gear. First gear. Yep, covering the rear brake. Preload. Preload. Hold it there right before the sweet spot. When you feel it bite, pull it back in a little. Good, right there. Pick up that leg. Let it out, let it out. Come to a stop. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh. If your bodyguards will let me come over here, man. man. You're good, man. <laughs> it is so nice to meet you, man. You too, man. You I too, man. I follow your videos like all the damn time. How you doing, man? Good, Rob. Good. Good. How you doing, man? Like most wanted president. Most wanted president. He's the president. Most blessed. Uh, What's family. going on, man? Part of our Youngstown. <laughs> all right. What's going on, man? You guys can sticking I? around? Can I? I'm working right now. You sticking around? We can. Um... Cause after this next exercise, then we're taking a break. So, so come back. Okay. Check on and come back. back. Alright man. Alright guys, we're gonna move on to exercise number four, right turns, left turns from a stop. That was pretty good. Thank you. Man, that's a good looking bike, man. You see what he said? He says alright, and he's correct. That's why it's the practice bike. Alright. Good job on that guys. And actually it was surprising with most of you. So it, it, it's really going to show you whether you trust and believe. Now, that's the exercise. I tell you the stops and the starts, the stop and the start, the slow ride, all three of those exercises, you can practice that every time you ride your motorcycle, pretty much anywhere, right? Exercise number two, don't get crazy. Like, you know, you just you can do it within the confines of a lane, which is plenty of room. But if you know you're still kind of still trying to figure this out, you know, don't go crazy on it. But nine times out of ten, I don't stop at red lights. Doesn't mean I run them. I just slow down before them. And by the time I get to it, it's green. Boom. And whenever I do a group ride, everybody that rides with me, they know what's coming. So all, all of a sudden, everybody's going slow. Everybody's going slow. I love that, right? Because we're practicing whether they know it or not. Okay. Any questions on that? Right? So that exercise, I don't want you practicing that anywhere, right? Uh, who, who blew the stop sign? I forgot. Who blew the stop sign, Joe? I was like, stop. Stop the motorcycle. Oh. Mm. I don't know. You get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, agree. I want you to stop because I want you to always be in control. Moving right along, guys. Exercise number four. Right turns, left turns from a stop. This exercise has the highest failure rate. And the reason it has the highest failure rate, this is why we don't start here, 
we start there. And then we start there. Because now when we come here, when we do this, not from a stop, but when we're doing it moving, which is the first thing I want you guys to do, the approach is exercise number two. That's the speed I want you riding, right? And I don't want you guys to lean the motorcycles in here. Everything straight up, right? If you lean, all it's showing me is you're introducing speed because you can't lean without speed. The bike will fall, right? Straight up. Now, you can barely see the lines here, but it doesn't matter. When I practice, I stop right here, right in the middle. Usually it's where it's a T intersection. That's why I stopped, the cross. But this is not a competition. If you're not comfortable being this close, I'm allowing you to stop any place within this box. Front wheel. So you can put your front wheel right here and you're good. Right? That's just because I want you to challenge yourself. We're doing it moving first, and then we're going to do it from a stop. So if we do it from a stop, it's pointless if you start back here. You're moving again. Right? But you need to be comfortable picking up your foot. If you were comfortable starting and stopping and doing the slow ride, the only difference here is you're turning the handlebars. We're staying in the friction zone. We're dragging the rear brake. Just like, don't do this, because all you're doing is disturbing the motorcycle. Um, somebody said to me, he's, um, he's having a problem balancing his motorcycle. So I, I think about that, and I want you guys to put in the comment section if you, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong, but there's very little balancing going on with this motorcycle. Power is what keeps it up. I don't have to balance it. Sometimes I might have to do, if, you go, if I'm doing something extreme and I'm like leaning my body, but outside of that, if it's moving, I don't have to balance it. The power is balancing it, right? So sometimes your balance is going to be off. And what I mean is sometimes when I tell people make a left turn, um, they'll pick up their left foot like this. So they're throwing the weight of the motorcycle to the right. So then the bike starts to go to the right. Remember, we do everything subtle. This is not exercise number three, so we're not picking up our foot with the bike not moving. Now we're back to the first five steps. Slowly release the clutch. As soon as it starts to move, pick up your left foot, head and eyes, head and eyes, and continually. Here's the, uh, we, we said um, consistency. This is where the consistency is coming in. The first thing is practice. But when I tell you to turn your head and your eyes in the turn, consistently keep them turned, right? Now, whether you're wearing dark glasses or not, I can tell if you're staring at my cones, right? So you can see some of these cones are black. They got scuffs on them. They're tough. So they don't mind being dragged or hit, but they don't want to be stared at, right? And everybody here has grown. Only one of us is a female. These are female cones, and they're minors. So it's inappropriate for any of you guys to stare at them, right? You see they're not dressed. So head and eyes. Look at my trailer. If you're going this way, pick a reference point, whatever you want to do. Actually, my camera is going to be there. So say cheese. Look at the camera. And when we make right turns, the camera is going to be over there. Five steps, make sure you're in first gear, cover the rear brake, preload the throttle and keep it loaded. Clutch right before the sweet spot. Step number five is head and eyes. What comes first, uh, have a head and eyes or handlebars? That's right. So if I turn my head and my eyes, I'm approaching this turn and I see a truck coming, is it gonna be a handlebars? Exactly, it's gonna be a rear brake. This is why we need to turn our head and our eyes before we commit to any kind of turn especially a U-turn because that's actually happening behind us, right? Stuff happens fast out there. Okay, step number six, slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Step number seven, as soon as the motorcycle starts to move, pick up your left foot. Step number eight, turn the handlebars. Three things determine the radius of our turn on a motorcycle. What's one of them? The lock. The handlebars, yes. How much we turn the handlebars? Lean angle, absolutely. The motorcycle was designed to be lean, but I don't want that from you yet. Lastly, speed, which is really first because it's the number one contributing factor to wide turns because when motorcycle riders feel discomfort at slow speeds, they introduce speed, right? And speed is always going to make us go wide. What does speed do to our handlebars? Straightens them out. So it's harder to turn with speed. That's why we don't want speed at slow speeds because we're trying to tighten stuff up, right? So. As I said before, when we do this moving, as you're doing exercise number two, find a spot with your throttle, and if you like the way it sounds, keep it there. If you like the way it sounds and I don't, I'm going to tell you, throttle. I told you throttle when you were coming out, and he said, again, throttle doesn't mean speed. And she said, I want you to raise the RPM, they're too low. So find a spot with the throttle, keep it there. Friction zone, wherever you are, stay there. And just use the rear brake. 
to control your speed. Head and eyes, handlebars, handlebars, handlebars. Listen to the throttle, 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 throttle. Drag, drag, drag that rear brake. Straighten out. All right? Your goal is to be in the middle of this lane. That's the goal. If you're over here, that's okay. The further you are over here, we're going to talk about why are you over there. We already talked about the three things that determine the radius. So the other thing is judgment. Some of you guys are still stopping like this. Right? That's, a, that's just a coordination thing. Right? Because it's so funny. Your brain is controlling the, the foot that's going to be coming out and the foot that's on the rear brake. But for some reason, the lines are getting crossed. Like, that should be easy to know. Which, all right. So, same thing here. If you start this turn too early, that's why you guys cost me money. I had to buy higher cones because people kept going over. The, the bags were going over the cones, but they weren't hitting them. But I needed them to know you're hitting the cones, so I bought bigger cones. So, you don't want to turn too early, and you don't want to turn too late. If you turn too late, now you're going to have to fully lock. You don't have to fully lock here. Again, nothing out here is excessive. Um, and... So if I stop right here, I'm going to have to start this turn with the handlebars turned. If I stop right here, I'm going to have to stop with the handlebars turned. And then I have to introduce the third thing that I don't want, lean. Which means I'm going to have to do exercise number three. got to let the bike fall and then catch it with the clutch. Now, unless somebody wants to do that, we're not doing that today. right? Everything we're doing is straight up. Okay, any questions on any of that? That lane seems to be narrower than I see. Everybody says that. <laughs> Everybody says that. Yeah, of course, because it's, that's seven and a half feet. So it's so funny. I did a video a long time ago. I was at my house, and I was doing this exercise, pulling out of a curb. So only thing I changed was I put my cars on the other side of the street. And everybody thought that was wider. I'm sorry, everybody thought that was tighter than this because it was the cars when it was much wider, right? So the other thing I say to you guys is if you want to, if you feel more comfortable coming here to make a left turn, that's fine. And if you feel more comfortable coming over here to make a right turn, that's fine. But the more you practice this, the more you're going to realize you're not pulling a trailer. Some of you guys pull the trailer to get here. That's how you would turn in a trailer. But on a motorcycle, this is, I can make this turn from here and make a left turn, right? I'm not asking you to do that though, right? But the point is the more you practice this, you're going to realize I don't need to be back here. I don't need to be over here. And this always comes in, all right? So I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'm gonna go straight through. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna stop and make the turn. Then lastly, I'm gonna have you guys stop, make the turn, and stop. And I had to introduce that because again, there's a lot of people were flying out. Whenever they felt, uh-oh, they would open the clutch. Again, not in control at that moment. I need you to be in control. And some people have an issue riding the handlebars. So Heather already taught us what to do, go back into the friction zone, use the rear brake at the same time, boom, right? And I want you facing straight. Like some, some of you guys are going to come and you're going to be facing this way because you felt falling and you said time to stop. No. You need to be in control. So you know when you want to stop, you stop when you want to stop. It's no, I don't care if you go past, just stop straight, okay? Lastly, I don't care if you hit a cone, don't put your foot down, all right? If you feel like the bike's going to fall, open up the clutch. If it takes you wide, fine. Not putting your foot down is a huge accomplishment. Screw the turn, right? Because we're fighting an instinct, right? All right, let me run through. Now, I'm going to exaggerate when I go through. Actually, I'm going to go through making the right turn, too, and I want you to, again, look at my foot. Matter of fact, I'll do that first. Look at my foot on the rear brake. Listen to my throttle. My goal is always to keep it steady, and because I'm always listening to it, if I hear it go down, I'm going to raise it a little bit because it's going to fluctuate. Right? We're not machines, so it's going to fluctuate. But if you're listening to it, I was out here practicing one time, and I had my music blasting. Well, not out here. And I realized how much I rely on listening to the throttle because I couldn't hear it, and I was totally distracted. Okay, I like that speed. I'm going to stay there. Clutch, throttle, keep it there. Drag the rear brake. Head and eyes, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Now I can come off, I'm good. Right? But it's barely moving. Then we're gonna do it from a stop. Same thing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Throttle, throttle. First gear. 
Reload. Thank you for the trust. Now I'm going to come to a stop. Straight up, head and eyes, straight up, straight up. Straighten out. Now see right there when I went to go straight, my, it kind of took me this way. So most people go up, oh, time to stop. No, screw that. I want to be straight. So I'm going to go back into the friction zone, rear brake, rear brake. Boom, I want to be straight. All right, any questions? Milk boy, ride your bike up here, you're first, man. I mean, sick boy. I said milk boy. Oh, shit. All right, Lee. Lee Sturgis. Left turn. Straight up. Nice. No lean, no lean. And you're staring at my cones, head and eyes. He's comfortable on the bike, but I want him straight up. Head and eyes, head and eyes. You're looking down, look at my camera. Keep it loaded, throttle a little low, a little low. So when he came in, his eyes are looking right at those cones. That's where he went. Good. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. That's 10 push-ups from him. Good. Stay at that speed. Keep it loaded. Drag the rear brake. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Nice, Heather. Nice. Good, head and eyes, look at my camera, keep looking at it. Keep it loaded, you're looking down. Good catch, no lean though, I don't want lean. He didn't put his foot down, that's all I care about. Good, 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 nah, why are you stopping? Straight through, yeah, straight through. Head and eyes, look at my camera, keep looking at it. Straight through. Good, keep it loaded, drag the rear brake, head and eyes, look at my camera, keep looking at it, that's 10 push-ups, <laughs> open the clutch, open the clutch, straight through, head and eyes, good, good, those bars are too damn low man, those bars, bars are too low. And I think it's even worse when they're low. That Kawasaki is the same way. They're low and wide. That's even worse. Straight through. Slow down, slow down. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Tell me your name again. Rich, don't let these cones. You clipped the cone and it totally lost it, man. <laughs> Shut it off? Oh, it's off. Go ahead. Yeah, as soon as you hit that cone, you pulled the clutch in. Got it? Yeah, I got it. You were good. And yeah, this is another bike. These bars are too low for you. 10, 12 inches, either one is gonna be better. Good, slow down, good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good job. Good job. Excellent. No, we're not stopping yet. Straight through. Nicely. All right, nice and easy. No lean. Head and eyes. Good, good, good. Nice, man, nice. 
Slow down. Good. Keep it loaded, head and eyes, drag the rear brake. Drag it, drag it, drag it. Good. There we go. Like a new man. Woo! Right in the middle. He's matching the cones. He may as well be good. Nice and easy. Slow down, slow down. Head and eyes. So he's going too fast and he's turning too late. Again, speed is going to make you, it's going to force you to make decisions quicker too. If you're going slower, he can analyze this a little bit longer to know when to make this turn. Straight through, Heather. Head and eyes, drag that rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Outstanding. Good. Head and eyes, look at my camera, keep looking at it. Keep it loaded. Outstanding, man. Outstanding. Straight through, good, good. Rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded. Stop looking at my cones. Stop looking at my cones. That's why you're going over there. You're looking at them. <laughs> straight through. Straight through. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Yeah, you got to turn the handlebars a little bit more. That's all. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Look. You're looking down. That's why that's happening. Yeah, look at the camera. Had a nice. Okay, so what he's doing is he's trying to will that motorcycle to turn. Like you see his body like this. When he just has to turn the handlebars. Again, his handlebars are too low. So I'm guaranteeing you that if he gets higher bars, that's going to work out way better for him. It's going to feel more comfortable. If you're uncomfortable physically doing something that you're uncomfortable mentally doing, it's just compounding. Straight through. Head and eyes. So you turn too late, that's all. Good, good, good. Stay into it, baby. So this is a judgment thing. He turned extremely late. His front wheel was all the way in the middle before he even started turning the handlebars. Good, slow down, slow down. Head and eyes. Too much speed, too much speed. Come to a stop. All right, leads all the way at the front, baby. Head and eyes, Lee. All right. Wherever you want to stop. All right, straight through. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. You're right here. See how lady's turning? Or you gotta lean. Hey, you're just turning too late. Stop wherever you want. All right, nothing's changed from what we were doing over there. Start off nice and easy. Turn your head and your eyes. Drag that rear brake. Reload. Good. Head and eyes. Keep looking over there. Keep it loaded. That's 10 push-ups. Yeah, you're good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. That's 10 push-ups. <laughs> Stop wherever you want. All right, so when we were over there, you were taking off nice and easy. That's what you need to do here. You're taking off, you're going in here too quick and you're turning the handlebars too late. So that's why you're going out like that. As Soon as you start moving, you can start turning. Head and eyes, look at the camera. Drag that rear brake. Good, keep it loaded, rear brake. Yeah, too much speed, too much speed. Popping the clutch. All right, you're doing great, Heather. Keep it up, nothing, nothing changes here. Slowly release the clutch. As Soon as it starts to move, get on that rear, well, you're already on the rear brake. Drag it, staying in the friction zone, head and eyes. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice, Heather, nice. 
So I know she had an uh oh moment. All right. Straight through, head and eyes. Look at my camera. Drag that rear brake. Drag it. Keep it loaded. 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 That's 10 push ups. Wherever you want to stop. All right. The same way you were taking off over there. Nice and easy. Head and eyes. Drag that rear brake. Keep it loaded. Stay in the friction zone. Slowly, but good, good. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake. That's 10 push ups. All right. Too much speed. He's leaning. All right, remember, we're not duck walking one foot or two. All right, All right. Everything, is, everything is the same like you were over there. Okay. Take off nice and easy. Yeah. Make sure you're in the friction zone. You should feel the motorcycle pulling you. Yeah. Turn your head and your eyes. Drag that rear brake. Not a lot of pressure on the rear brake. Nice and easy. Okay. Nice and easy. Good. Keep it right there. Good. Rear brake, rear brake. Head and eyes. Good. Turn the handlebars. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Alright, you ready? He did it better from a stop than he did moving. Good. Rear brake, head and eyes, turn the handlebar, turn them. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Easy on that rear brake. Oh, man, I wouldn't do that. Go ahead, go ahead. But that time, you hit the rear brake and made the front suspension compress. So you already, you got the handlebars turned. Nice and easy on that rear brake. Let's drag it. Wherever you want to stop. All right. Same as over there. Slowly release the clutch. Nice, easy takeoff. Drag the rear brake. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Good. Give me some more preload. Good. Rear brake. Rear brake. <laughs> He's still trying to will it. He's like, come on, turn. You got to turn, baby. Again, those handlebars. They're a contributing factor. I'm not going to say it's the main reason, but it's a contributing factor. No doubt about it. All right, same as over there. Start out just how you pulled up here. Same thing. Turn your head and your eyes. Turn the handlebars. Stay in the friction zone. Listen to that throttle. Drag the rear brake. So as soon as you start moving, you should already be dragging the rear brake nice and easy. Good. Open up the clutch. Rear brake. Rear brake. Hand and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right. We're getting there. Look at this guy all the way to the front. All right now. Head and eyes, handlebars. <laughs> Lee, come to a stop over here. Head and eyes. Alright, a little too much speed. That's why you're in the lean, but they're still good. Right turn, next. All right, come to a stop over here. Head and eyes. Turn it. Very nice. Like before, you, you waited so late to turn, but you knew how to work it out. So that's all I care about. All right, come to a stop over here. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That's another 10. Keep it loaded, open the clutch. Every time, I'm, I'm looking at your hand, squeezing the clutch in, squeezing it in. You're also turning late, so you're making that turn more difficult. You're making it so you have to lock it. You turn that a little bit earlier, you'll be fine. Right turns next. All right, so what's going on with you is you're opening up this clutch too quickly. You, you get too much speed of a burst, and that's why you're going straight. Nice and easy. Drag that rear brake, turn your head and your eyes, stay in the friction zone. All right? Let's do it. Now, exercise number three. Make sure the bike's moving, then pick up your foot. Good. Good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You see his arms are like this. His arms are like this. 
So something might be going on with those handlebars too. Very nice. I, I, I got I got um, PTSD now when it comes to this. <laughs> Come to a stop over here. Good. Open up the clutch some more, that's all. So she just wasn't in the friction zone enough. Heather saw me move out the way and she said, I didn't trust and believe. <laughs> All right, come to a stop. Make sure you're dragging that rear brake. Good, nice and easy. Good, open up the clutch a little bit more. Good, good, rear brake. There we go, work it out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Coming to a stop over here. Good, good, good. Too much speed, too much speed. Dude, I don't know who that was the last time. Yeah. You look like a different man, man. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Copy and paste. Come to a stop this time. Good, good. Rear brake, drag it. Turn the handlebars. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, straighten out. Keep it loaded. Oh, man, punking me. Beautiful. Preload, preload. All right. Good, get that foot up, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. That's another 10. Every time you feel, uh oh, you squeeze that clutch in. All right, come to a stop over here. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, that's another 10. Front brake. <laughs> A lot of these guys are going to go home, their chest is going to be a lot bigger than it was when they left. <laughs> Alright, come to a stop over here. Preload that throttle, hold it there, slowly release the clutch, rear brake, drag it, head and eye, turn the handlebars, yeah, turn it, keep it loaded, keep it turned. There you go, getting better, getting better. Oh, hold on. All right. I, I think it was premature for you to be up that far. <laughs> Slowly release the clutch, just like over there. I want you to start turning almost immediately. It's starting to turn too low, too late. Keep that throttle loaded. Drag that rear brake. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Start turning. All right, back up, back up, back up. That's a balance thing. That's all. Remember, we're gonna pick up this foot as soon as it starts to move. Good. Pick up that foot. All right, here we go. Head and eyes. You're not looking at the camera. What a difference. As soon as you looked at my camera, your handlebars went like that. He's looking down at these cones, so he's going right at them. Head and eyes, Lee. No leaning, Lee. No leaning. Straight through. Straight through. Head and eyes. Don't lean it. Don't lean it. Keep it straight up. You're leaning. Good, stay at that speed, head and eyes, nice and easy on that rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, good, excellent, excellent, keep that throttle up though, it's low, his foot came off of the brake a little bit, but he never put his foot down, I love to see that, progress, good, good, drag the rear brake, slow down, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, there we go, work it out baby, throttle low, he didn't put a foot down, Straight through, Heather. Good, good, good. She's 
Straight up, too. Beautiful. Good, head and eyes. Keep it loaded. That's another 10. So right there, he was going very slow, and then he went for a full lock. He didn't need to do that. He jerked his handlebars again. We don't want to do anything herky-jerky. The bike's not going to like the way it feels, and neither are you. Good. Head and eyes. Looking at my cones. You're looking at my cones. And right there, he's leaning with the bike. We don't do that at slow speeds. We counterbalance. Keep it loaded. 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 So he's still fighting with his motorcycle. He's, he's very heavy on the rear brake, so he's causing the herky-jerky. And at the same time, his throttle is low, so the bike is shaking. Good. Keep it loaded. Head and eye. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Too much speed. Too much speed, but you're good. Keep it loaded, baby. The Indian is spitting. It's farting. The Indian is farting. Straight through. Good, head and eyes. Good. Start turning, start turning, start turning. So again, there's a lot of people starting their turns late. Like this is a judgment thing. Good, head and eyes. Keep looking. Good, good, good. It's the same cone. Everybody's hitting the same cone. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Head and eyes. Look at the camera. Keep looking at it. Good, good. No feet down. Awesome. Good, straight up. All right, tell your wife to come closer. We ain't gonna get in the, she's recording from all the way over there. Tell her to come over here. Slow down, slow down. Head and eyes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. Good job. Good, keep that preload up. Drag it, turn, 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 turn. Nice and easy, keep it turned, keep it turned. All right, good. See, his handlebars are going like this. That's the only reason he's that wide. Good, nice and easy, nice and easy. Head and eye, turn it, turn it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Oh, good catch, man, good catch. He's got to work on his throttle control. And his clutch control. Straight through, straight through, straight through. Keep it loaded. Nice. Woo wee. Good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Turn him, baby. Turn him. There we go. Outstanding, man. Outstanding. Straight through. Good, head and eyes, drag that rear brake. Easy, easy, nice. So again, he's leaning with the turn, I'ma tell him. Good, slow down, head and eyes, start turning, start turning. Good, 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 there we go, working it out. All right, good, keep that throttle loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, you're going too fast, too fast, too fast. So at that speed, he has to lean, obviously. You can't turn the handlebars fully going that fast. Good. Stay at that speed. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Handlebars. Start turning them. Keep it loaded. Good. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. So at the end of that turn, 
he started getting nervous. He, he opened up the clutch, so he's giving power to the rear wheel. What does the motorcycle want to do with power? It wants to go straight. So that's why he couldn't stay in the turn. It wanted to go straight, and that's what it did. He didn't need all that power, so all he had to do was manipulate that with the clutch or with the rear brake or both. Good. Head and eyes. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Just drag it, just drag it. Good, good. So again, I'm looking at his foot tapping. Straight through, straight through. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come to a stop, yeah. She didn't want to come over here? That video's gonna suck. She's too far away. <laughs> nice. All right. Had a nice. There we go. Nope. All right, straight through. Make sure you keep the RPMs up. Head and eye, start turning. Good, rear brake, rear brake. Too much speed, too much speed. I don't want lean. Good job, though. All right. Straight through. Clutch, nice and easy. Good. That's 10 push-ups. <laughs> Now he's got a stage four on his bike. Huh? Yeah, wherever you want to stop, it's fine. Good, good. That's 10 push ups, Heather. That's 20. 20 push ups, Heather. <laughs> she got spooked, she squeezed it in. All right, straight through. Head and eyes, good. All right, good, you can start over if you want. Good recovery, man, good recovery. Straight through. Stop in here somewhere, okay. All right, straight through. You're looking at my cones, look at my camera. So every time he comes down, he's looking here. And that's where he goes. I'm going to have to start making it clear that when I say straight through, I don't mean go straight through, I mean straight through. <laughs> Shut it off. You don't want to try to pick it up while it's still running. You ready? One, two, three. So you're, yeah, you're doing a lot of stuff herky-jerky, so it's making it, you know, throttle. Nice and easy, keep it there. Clutch, keep it, and that rear brake, you're like. So let me see something, put your foot on the rear brake. It's real sticky. Move your foot back a little bit on the foot. Yeah, so you don't have as much foot on it, maybe it make it a little easier. Hold up, I'm sorry. Go ahead and eyes. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Go ahead. Same cone. Next person that hits this cone, I'm gonna give him five dollars. You guys heard me. Next person that hits that cone, five dollars. Good. Rear brake. Good. Good. Keep it loaded. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Good. Good. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That was beautiful. Cause he made the correction. All right. Head and eyes. Look at my camera, rear brake, drag it, drag it. It's those bars, man. That's definitely, he's like this. Well, he didn't hit the, he didn't hit the $5 cone. Well, you know what, it doesn't even matter because if you get on the throttle, the clutch is only gonna allow what you let it, yeah. so. You're good. But it just sounds bad. It does. It's like, oh. <laughs>
Sounds good to me. Good. <laughs> All right, straight through. Good, head and eye, turn it, turn it. Good, good, keep it turned, keep it turned, keep it turned. Nice, there we go. Excellent use of the rear brake. Excellent use of the rear brake. All right, straight through. Because last time he, he let power take him out. This time he dragged the rear brake all the way, kept the handlebars turned. Beautiful, good, head and eyes. All right, come to a stop and then take a break. And nice. All right. Come to a stop and then take a break. Nice. Come to a stop, take a break. Reload. Good, head and eyes. So when you start moving, you should already be looking there, because if something's coming, you know, before you commit to anything, look and keep looking. Head and eyes. Good, good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Come to a stop, straighten out. Excellent, man, excellent. All right, nice and easy. Head and eyes, you're gonna come to a stop and then take a break. Good, oh, that was almost it. 10 push-ups. All right, come to a stop and then you can take a break. Good, good, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Straighten out. Beautiful, Heather. Take a break. All right, come to a stop and take a break. Head and eyes. Good, good, slow down, rear brake, rear brake. Now that's what you did before when you were turning, all of a sudden you jerked the handlebars like this. Yeah. And then it made the bike go like that and you didn't like the way it felt. But, yeah. and then one time you sped up and you leaned, which I don't care about because you felt something different and you did what needed to be done. Good job, man. Nice. Come to a stop and then take a break. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. You're looking at my cones. All right, head and eyes. Look at my camera. Nice and easy. Good. Turn the handlebars. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Rear brake. Nice and easy. Nice. There we go. All right. Come to a stop and then take a break. Yeah, they're definitely too low. Yeah, you could. You should be able to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because every time you turn, you I can see the restriction. It's a. It's definitely a contributing factor. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's not comfortable. I can tell. All right, head and eyes, keep it loaded, rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Hey, Tom! Tom! Go ahead. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, come to a stop, straighten out. Like butter, man. Take a break. Tom! Really? Come to a stop over here and then take a break. Hey, Tom! I'll set him up. No, go ahead. Good, good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Outstanding, man. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, straighten out. Nice job, man. Take a break. You earned it.
All right, you're gonna stop over here and then take a break. Good, rear brake, rear brake, head and eye, turn, 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 trust and believe, keep it turned, keep it turned, keep it turned. Straighten out. This is right here the whole time. They're too low, definitely. But and, and that was excellent right there. That's your best turn of the day. Good job, man. All right, right turn to a stop. Head knife, Joe. Easy on that rear brake, Joe, easy. Straighten out, beautiful. That's how you like to end it, baby. Joe Go Motorcycle Adventures. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to exercise number five, single serpentine, and now I want lean. Let's see who doesn't give it to me. All right, so I want you guys to know that Ohio preloaders and VI preloaders are at a higher level than they are in most other places. What am I referring to? The maze. I don't know how many people are gonna be doing that later, but in Georgia, the parking lot bays are 20 feet each, which means 40 feet in length. So when I set up the maze, you have 40 feet length. Here, they're 36 feet long. So I'm just letting you know that in advance because when Joe first got here, he started to do the maze. He was like, whoa, what the hell's going on? Because he's got four feet less, so he's got to kind of tighten things up a little bit. Again, that's only if you're going to do the maze. Uh, welcome back from your lunch break, your picnic. Um, A.R. Lee. Yes, sir. What's your wife's name? Guys, huge shout out to Deborah. I mean, huge shout out. Brought food. I mean, I got, Lee, that was her, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I kind of knew that, but I just want to make sure. Uh, this is why our queens are so important in our lives, guys, because they're going to think about stuff that I know I'm, when we did my anniversary dinner, I told my wife, if it was me doing it, it would have been pigs in a blanket, a bag of Doritos, yeah. you know, burgers and dogs or something like that. But, you know, so. Big shout out to her. I appreciate her, the time that she took to do that, the thought that went behind it. I don't take anything for granted, guys, so. She's trying to make us sleepy, though. I did tell her that. Just a small amount, let us move on. Uh, anyway, your bike's on. Okay. This exercise, like I told you guys, very telling. Sick boy, I don't know what happened to him. It's like he got struck by lightning. Because when we were doing it moving, it was kind of all over the place, and then, Doing it from a stop, he actually did it better. Why? Because he stayed in the friction zone. He dragged the rear brake instead of doing this, right? So a few of you guys, you're molesting my cones with your eyes. You're just, and you're going right to those cones because you're looking at it. It's amazing how that happens, right? If you look at it, that's where you're going to go. It's target, target fixation. I know it doesn't feel comfortable to do this, although it should because we don't need to do this to make anything work that needs to work on the motorcycle, right? Turn your head and your eyes and trust. Again, I'm, I want you guys to be comfortable being uncomfortable for about a second or two. Right? It's only going to, I'm not asking you to do anything for like 60 seconds. Just a sec, just trust it. Listen to your throttle. As long as you hear it, if you feel it not doing what you wanted to do, open up the clutch a little bit more, you're going to be fine. And when you take a picture on your motorcycle, making a U turn, looking where you're supposed to be looking, man, it looks badass, man. Badass. This ain't gonna look good on the picture, right? <laughs> but this looks great, right? All right, I was just talking to these guys and telling them in the motorcycle riding community, safety is third on the priority list for most motorcycle riders. How it looks and how it sounds, that's one and two. Then we'll talk about, you know, the rest of the stuff. Cause I was talking to them about the Indy Ridge boots. I know that motorcycle boots are the best thing to wear on your feet while you're riding a motorcycle as far as protection. But in my opinion, they look like crap. So I, wore mo I wear sneakers all the time. And then here comes Indy Ridge, and they, they actually look good. They don't look like motorcycle boots. So there you go. That's why you see me wearing boots now. And four of you have them on out here, right? But the majority of you have on motorcycle boots. So good for you. If you don't, I'm not going to judge you. Who am I? Right? I say that all the time. Any questions on that exercise? Right? You guys at the end, it was all coming together. And that's why sometimes I get stuck on that exercise. Because if I see... One more time, come on, one more time. I want to just keep putting you through. But you really did good. Heather, oh my God, it's beautiful. Now, I will say that by the time today's over, when you guys get home, this is going to be you. 
everybody's chest is going to be swollen. There's a lot of push-ups out here, man, a lot of push-ups. And, and we're only up to number five. Speaking of number five, guys, this is the single serpentine. Cones are 15 feet apart. This exercise is more important than I first thought it was when I first started this. So it's important that you guys know this is not a ski slalom. I don't want you trying to go through like this because everybody wants to do that. Now, if we're doing a 30-foot serpentine, yeah, that's different because now you're just kind of pushing the handlebars, right? And most motorcycle riders don't have a problem with that because they go straight and make slight turns. But in this exercise, now I want lean. I'm guaranteeing you somebody's not going to give it to me now that I want it. I want lean. Speaking of which, right here. Tell me your name again, Chris. Yeah. All right, all right, there we go. A lot of you guys were pulling into exercise number four, and if this is the cone, you didn't start your turn until you got right here. So again, this is a judgment thing. When we first learned how to drive our cars, the biggest obstacle was what can I fit through? Judgment. So now you guys need to know where you can turn. That's why when we did this first exercise, short starts and stops, I told you, don't let your front wheel pass the cone. I need you to be aware where your motorcycle is at all times. So when it came time to make that turn, if you're turning that late, like you have no clue where your bags are or anything, but you just want to make sure you clear. So what Chris did is he went way deep. A couple of you guys did that. Then when he turned, he couldn't do it straight up. So he had to lean it. Actually, it was you that did the same thing. And it was you. And I said to him, I love that. I want it straight up, yes. But if it didn't work out, you had a plan B. In other words, options. You knew what to do based on what was going on, being the, motor, being the boss of the motorcycle. And you actually did this. He had his foot on the board. He went to put it down, and he never put it down. So that's how that is already starting, that transition, that fight with the battle of the instinct and winning it. So that was beautiful. Love to see that, right? I love to see stuff imperfect out here. Because that shows that you're learning, right? All right, let me not get into a thing with you guys. You know how I can get. Okay, in this exercise, guys, I don't want you going too fast. I don't want you going too slow. If you're going too slow, you can't lean. If you're going too fast, all speed does is uh, make you have to make decisions quicker and it makes it harder for you to turn your motorcycle. So you have to be at an appropriate speed. You guys are gonna be coming this way, by the way. Camera's here. Straight ahead, head and eyes. Your peripheral vision will pick up the cones. And I want you to start out wide. See where my motorcycle is? You can even start out wider than this. But I don't want you starting out this close to the cone. Don't hug the cones as you go down because you're just going to be clipping cones. People that hug the cones, they're trying to do this. I don't want that. I want you turning the handlebars and leaning. Transition. That's the other big part of this exercise. It's getting you accustomed to transitioning and transition quickly. Don't transition like this because you're losing space. And this is going to get you ready for when we get to the figure eight, offset double serpentine, where you have to transition, transition. And this is also going to get you accustomed to evasive maneuvers, which if my friend had practiced this and had this tool in his tool belt, he wouldn't have rear-ended me. Because even if he couldn't stop in time, he would have at least had the presence of mind to swerve. But when you don't practice, squeeze and hope for the best. And that's what he did. And locked up his rear wheel on that M109 doesn't practice emergency braking or this. So, with that being said, guys, nice and easy. If I tell you to speed up, speed up a little bit. Drag the rear brake if you need it. I don't really use my rear brake in here because once I'm moving at a good speed, it's all about being fluid. Just show the motorcycle who's the boss. Turn it, lean it. Now, it doesn't have to be extreme, but I want you to show the motorcycle who's the boss, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate it, and then you guys are gonna line up down there, and you're gonna come down this way. When I pass this first cone, I want to be closer to this cone. And as soon as I get in that turn, I'm already committing to the next turn. And just keep doing that. Rinse, wash, rinse, repeat. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Why? Wide, lean, 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 head and eye, straight ahead. Listen to my throttle, it's steady. Boy, as steady as I can keep it. Head and eye, straight ahead, keep your throttle steady. And I want you to, the wider you go out, it's gonna force you to lean. And I want you to lean. Again, 
Doesn't have to be extreme. That was a little extreme, I guess. As long as you're not doing it straight up, I'm happy. Any questions? All right. Sick boy. All right, guys. Exercise number five. Single serpentine. Lee! Go ahead, Lee. Good. Good. Nice, Lee. Woo! Beautiful. Head and eye, straight ahead. Beautiful. Slow down a little bit, that's all. Slow down, slow down. Going too fast. Going too fast, too fast. And you just gotta keep that throttle loaded too. His throttle's always loaded, the whole engine is shaking. But you can't go out wide if you're going that fast. So let me get up here to the beginning so I can correct it right before it starts. Head and eye, straight ahead, straight ahead. Look at the camera. Swing it out, swing it out, swing it out, good. Swing it out, see, too close to the cones. Go out wide, good. Good, slow down, use the rear brake, you're going too fast. You're not even covering the rear brake, that's why, yeah. You gotta cover that rear brake. See, what did I tell you guys? If you don't follow the first five steps, you're gonna run into problems. It's right here, he's not covering the rear brake. Hold on. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, now he did that no rear brake, but he's not covering it. I want it covered. If something happens, he's gonna smash at it. Good, good correction. You saw that? He was going fast, he corrected it with the rear brake. Put him right back where he needed to be. Very nice. Very nice. Sick boy said, I'm not going first anymore. Good. Good. Lean it in. Lean it. Turn it. Oh. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Going too fast. Good. Turn it. Lean it. Turn it. Turn it, good, nice and wide. That's 10 push-ups. And his foot hit that saddlebag guard. Not in a bad way, but Russian roulette. Nice and wide, nice and wide, good. Good, keep the speed up just like that. Excellent, Heather, excellent. Good, lean it in, good. There we go, excellent. Good, nice and wide, go wider. If you hug the cones, you're gonna hit them. You gotta go wide. Nice. Excellent. Hey, Lee. Nice. See how it's speed, not too fast, not too slow. Preload elevated the whole time.
Nice and wide. Slow down, slow down. Come out wide. Good. All the way. Wide. You got to lean it. A little bit more speed. A little bit more speed. Don't hug the cones. Go out wide. Go out wide. That's 10 push-ups. Why? 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 Stop, 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 stop. So remember, you're starting wrong. You're coming in this close to the first cone. Remember, I told you to start out why? So that you can lean in. Can you make a U-turn right here and come right back in? All right, go ahead, come right back in. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Go ahead, come over here. All the way over here. All right, dip it in, dip it in. Head in, good, head it, dip it in. Good, good, good. Dip it in, stay wide, stay wide. Turn it, baby, turn it like you mean it. Turn it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Open the clutch. There we go. Nice and wide, good. Head and eyes, straight ahead. Don't look at the cones. There we go. Keep it up, just like that. Nice and wide. Stay wide. Good. Good. There we go. Start out wide. Start out wide. Wide. Come on. Lean it in. Turn. Turn. Good. Turn. Turn. Good. Keep the speed up. Rear brake. Rear brake. Too fast. Good. Lean it in. There we go. Work it out, baby. Cover that rear brake. Cover it. Just cover it. You didn't use it at all before, but I still want you to cover it. Good. Smooth, baby. Smooth. I prefer his RPMs be a little bit higher, but he's good. Good, nice and wide. Beautiful. Look at his head and his eyes. Straight ahead. Very nice. Nice and smooth. Start out wide. Wide. Come all the way, all the way over, all the way over. Stop, stop, stop. All right, 10 push ups. You're starting out wrong. You're starting out too close to this cone. Okay. So when I say go wide, I need you to be away from the cone. Go around and come right back in. Right now? Yeah, right now. Come all the way over here. Turn. Slow down. Rear brake. Lean it in. Lean it in. Turn it. Too much speed. Too much speed. All right, too much speed. Nice and wide, nice and wide. Good, good. Keep the speed up so you can lean. Lean it, good. Rear brake, lean it, good. Turn it, lean it. Rear brake. Yeah, if you see you're coming up on the cone in front of you too fast, rear brake, you need a correction. You can go again if you want. Nice and wide, Heather. Good. Good. Keep the speed up. Keep the speed up. Nice. Nice dip right there. Nice dip right there. Very nice. See the brakes? She's using them. Nice and wide, nice and wide, good. Slow down, going too fast. Too much speed, too much speed. Slow down, dip, slow down, good. Dip it, dip it, you gotta turn it. Now you're going too slow, you can't lean. All right, so they'll know what they need to practice. That's what this is really about. 
Good. Head and eye, straight ahead. Look at my camera. Keep looking at it. Slow down, slow down. Too much speed. Good. Slow down. Dip it. Still hugging the cones. Come all the way over. All the way over. Dip it, dip it, dip it. All right. Good. Keep the speed up. Rear brake. Dip it. Good. Turn. Dip it. Rear brake. Too much speed. Why? Slow down. Slow down. Dip. Dip it. Turn it. Dip it. Good. Dip it. Turn it. Turn it. Too much speed, which means you got to make transitions quicker. Sick boy, that's it. Dip it, dip it. Slow down, good, slow down, good, good. Dip it, turn it, turn it. Too much speed, good, turn it. See, his transitions are slow. He's going too slow, so he can't lean. Good, slow down, slow down, good. Not too slow where you can't lean. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good. Pick it up right there. Lean it in. Rear brake. Rear brake. All right, last time. No, last time. I'm sorry, I did this. There, last time. All three of you guys. Shut it off. All four of you guys are going too fast. And then when I say slow down, you slow down too much. And now you can't lean. And you're also hugging the cones. Go wide, lean, turn, and you're transitioning too slow. So if the faster you go, it's making you have to transition quicker. That's why we don't want to go too fast. It's also harder to turn the handlebars. Last time, guys. Let's make it count. Good. Dip over here. Dip. Dip. Turn. 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 Turn it. Good. Good. Turn. Lean. Lean. Rear brake. Turn. Lean. Now see, you have to be going a certain speed to lean, but every time I tell him to lean, he speeds up too much. You don't have to be going really fast. Too much speed. Slow down. Slow down. Too much speed. Too much speed. Last time, watch the speed. Good, dip this way, dip, turn it. Turn those balls like you mean it, turn them. Too much speed. See right there, he's straight up. Gotta lean it, three things determine the radius of the turn. Last time, make it count. Dip, good, dip, slow down, too much speed. Dip, dip, you're not turning the bars enough. Yeah, so guys, when you're in this exercise, this is the first exercise that's introducing lean, but you have to do everything. Now, we gotta turn the handlebars, we gotta lean, we gotta do all that stuff. So it's a lot going on in here, stuff that you may not realize until you get in here. All right, we'll talk about it. All right, so now we'll, that exercise right there, it's already showing us how speed is our enemy in slow speed maneuvers, right? The faster you go, the quicker you have to make decisions, the harder it is to turn the handlebars. And this exercise is all about turning the handlebars. And some of you guys are going through here still trying to do it like this. No, 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 we're here to be the boss. Boom, boom. And if I tell you you're going too fast then you slow down so much, now you can't lean. So it's a lot of stuff going on. So, I want you guys to also realize, I should have said this at the beginning, um, the practice sessions are not meant for you to just get it on that day. Sometimes that happens and that's great. 
but it's meant to show you what you need to work on, right? And the beauty of this is, so far, everything that we've done, you can practice this anywhere. Like, you don't even need cones for this, although I would buy cones. Because I've had several people tell me, man, I practice all the time and I don't have these issues. It's these cones. Because <laughs> I don't practice with cones. And I say to them all the time, if cones distract you, what do you think cars and people and all those other stuff out there? So I need you to have the cones just so you have points of reference. Like you'll notice in all of my exercises, you're not coned in. Because I don't want you to be confined, but I do want you to feel something, right? And stay in the boundaries of that. And if you go out, you still have exits to go out. And if you, or you could just hit the cone. Who gives a crap? Like I always say, all right? Any questions on that, guys? That is, that is such an important exercise, right? Like even in exercise number four, uh, I think it was, it was actually both of you guys. It's ironic that you're standing right next to each other. You guys were, it's like, it was almost like you were trying to will your motorcycle to turn. Like you were like, come on, do it. Well, all you had to do is that, right? But your handlebars have a lot to do with it as well. Uh, so uh, at the end of the day, let's remember, the good thing is only, I think only one person put their foot down in there. So that's great. Exercise number six, guys, infamous U-turn, all right? Really, this is, I don't want to say this is what it's all about, but this is what people struggle with the most. This is 27 feet wide. Now for the least third, uh, you know, never mind. For some people, this box right here is 18 feet. So if you guys want to come in here and challenge yourself, here we are. If you want to try 18 feet, but you don't want the confinement, just try it up here. And if you don't make it, boom. All right. The real goal is 24 feet. That's where I really want you to be. So that's why it's important that we'll go back and look at these videos. Because if you start this far off of the line and you still make it, that's 24 feet, right? So forget about the, don't worry about that. A couple of things I want you guys to do. Like I said in exercise number four, but now we're gonna be going a little bit faster. Everything we do out here, we're between six and 10 miles per hour, with the exception of exercise number four. That's between one and three. I say one and 2.5, right? Don't want to, we don't want a lot of speed there. So when you get an appropriate speed approaching this U-turn, wherever you are with the throttle, keep it there. Wherever you are with your friction zone, stay there. I'm eliminating you having to worry about that. Head and eyes, lean the hand, I mean, lean the motorcycle, turn the handlebars. You don't have to full lock. You don't have to lean a lot. Bam. If you do all of that, keep your speed constant. It's going to be a smooth U-turn. Everything we do out here today, guys, you should feel the motorcycle pulling you through it. That's the friction zone. So I don't want to see you guys come in here at 12 miles an hour and then do a swoop. No, we don't want momentum U-turns. I want the friction zone pulling you through this U-turn. And please commit to the lean right away. Right away. So whenever you guys make U-turns, I'm always looking at the light under your motorcycle. When you start to make that turn, and I see this much light, and as you progress in the turn, I know you're looking at these cones, and you see you're not going to make it, and now you lean, and now I see the light go like this. So you made that turn t wider and scarier than it had to. Because if you commit to the lean right away, it just needs to be a slight lean. If you commit later, now you have to lean more, right? So. Commit to the lean right away. As long as you're going fast enough, that doesn't mean go fast, as long as you're going fast enough, don't worry about it, you're gonna be fine. Trust and believe that as long as you have sufficient power going to that rear wheel, we already set that before we even got to the turn. Just keep it there. It's like, what is that, the George, what, what grill was that? Set it and forget it, right? Set it and forget it. I'm talking about you in the friction zone. And be on that rear brake just in case. Tell me your name again. Chuck. So Chuck went through the single serpentine the first time, foot on the footboard. He said, there you go, Rob. There's your cover in the rear brake. <laughs> I got your rear brake right here, Rob. So, so I didn't say anything to him because I wanted to just watch him go through it. No problem. When I go through it, I'm not using the rear brake, but I'm always covering it because if something happens, I want to be right there. I don't want to have to go to it, right? So I want you to be in the habit of just covering it, all right? All right. All right, so I'm gonna go through here, guys. I'm gonna make a left U-turn. I want you to listen to my throttle. It's gonna be steady. Then I'm gonna stop and make a U-turn. 
Then I'm gonna stop, make a U-turn and stop. Again, now we're working on the control. When you come out of that U-turn and you stop, your motorcycle should be facing this way. Not like this, not like this. Work it out, all right? And you have room. I'm not asking you to stop right at the end. Just stop. I mean, if you're making the U-turn deep into the box, you're out of the U-turn all the way over here. I just want you to stop right here someplace, all right? Nice and easy, boom. Your stops and your starts already look better than they did when we first got here. Because you're thinking about it, or at least you should be. Because that was my request. I put that request in at about 0900 hours. All right? Any questions? And I want you to watch what I'm doing as far as my head and my eyes. Now, I do get, we're not, this is not the exorcist, so I don't expect you to, you know, be able to do like this. Turn your head as far as you can, and as you progress into the turn, if you keep your head there, you're still going to be able to see what's happening. Right? Please, if you're doing this, I'm going to let you know. And I'm expecting you to do it. Fight the urge. I know it doesn't feel comfortable. Just fight it. Trust me. All right? And if that doesn't work, I'm going to come in there with you and have you look at me. And we're going to do it together. All right? All right. Listen to my throttle. Watch how much I turn my handlebars and watch how much I don't lean. I don't have to lean a lot. There's plenty of room. If I commit to the lean right away. Speed's good. Head and eyes. Commit. Nice and easy. Because I'm, I'm, it's pulling me through the U-turn. So I don't have to worry about it. First gear. Head and eyes. Right there, that's about a 17 foot U-turn, right? You hear anything scraping? Anything look really extreme? If I commit to the lean right away, even from that kind of U-turn, it's gonna be a lot smoother. I don't have to do anything extreme. Now, some people feel apprehensive about leaning initially, and that's what's really making their U-turns so wide because they don't wanna to commit to it until they're almost at the top of it. Now they wanna lean. And sometimes that means they increase the speed, so then they get that swoop at the end of the U-turn. That's why they can't right the handlebars, all right? If we do everything coordinated and easy, nothing for us to hit, nothing for us to worry about, just trust the process, guys, all right? Trust the process. Wherever you are with your throttle as you're approaching, stay there. You see I'm not going fast. Like, we don't need a lot of speed to keep this bike up. So we all know that the more you lean this motorcycle, the more reliant it is on the power, right? and the higher the risk is. So, if I make some circles, tell me how fast you think I'm going. How fast do you think I'm going? How fast do you think I'm going there? Six miles an hour? Yeah, it's about six, six and a half, seven miles per hour. At that speed, see how I can keep this bike up? Now, if I go a little bit slower, it's gonna fall. So I don't, so if, you, if I only need to go six miles an hour to keep the bike from falling at that lean, you got 27 feet, you're fine. Just, just head and eyes, handlebars, lean the motorcycle. What you got, Tom? Re repeat the question. Good question. Tom says, when should I start committing? Well, that depends. You make it in the 18 foot box? No, no. okay. <laughs> okay, so if that's the case, see where this one ends? That's where you start. Because you just, you just need to be in here. So when you get about right here, commit. Now some people like to do the momentum thing where They'll go to the right first and then go to the left. If that works for you, fine. I really don't need to do that, but sometimes I do it. It all depends, you know, do, do them both. See what works out best for you, okay? Good question, any more questions? All right, sick boy already gave up his spot. So Lee, Lee, you got it, Lee.
Lee was going for that 18 feet. I see you going for it, man. I see you going for it. Head and eyes, good. I knew he was going for it. Good, good. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Rear brake. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Look over here. Look over here. Keep it loaded. Good job, man. Good job. Head and eyes. Look at here. Look over here. Ten push-ups. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Look over here. Come on. Keep it loaded. Excellent, Heather. Excellent. You're going for it. I see it. <laughs> we got three guys going for that 18 feet. Good. Keep that speed. Don't slow down. You can't lean now. Going too slow. Very good. Work it out, baby. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Good job. Good job. Keep the speed up. Keep the speed up. Head and eyes. Good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Nice. Nice. You're good. You're good. Good. Keep the speed right there. Don't slow down. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. All right. We'll get there, man. We'll get there. I need to see them do it first, and then I can see what we need to work on. Good. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come on. Come on. He glanced at me and that was it. Woo! Trust and believe, baby! I'm gonna tell him to counterbalance. He's leaning with the motorcycle. Might help him a little bit. Head and eyes, lead it, lead it. Nice. Good, stay at that speed, stay at that speed. Head and eyes, look at me, look at me. Come on, keep it loaded. You're not looking at me, you're looking at the cones. <laughs> and that's where you're going. Slow down. Stay at that speed. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Look at me. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Ten push-ups. <laughs> Stay at that speed. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Look at me. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. So we're just starting out, guys. Starting out with the push-ups, that is. Push-ups. Starting out with the U-turns. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right, good job. Too slow, too slow. You can't really lean it over the way you need to if you're going that slow. Good, keep that speed up, head and eyes. Lean it, lean it, lean it. 
Head enough, you're looking at the cones. That's where you go, where you go where you look. Slow down, dip to the right, left, come on, keep the speed up. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it. Too much speed is pulling you wide, but that's good. Rear brake, rear brake. Good, dip to the right, left, look at me, head and eyes. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Too much speed, too much speed. Breathe the rear brake. Again, I don't want a momentum U-turn in here. I want the friction zone pulling you through. Slow down, stay at that speed, stay at that speed, head and eyes, you gotta lean. Get that foot up. Your throttle's too low. Good, stay at that speed, stay at that speed. Head and eyes, keep it loaded, rear brake. Lean it, you gotta lean, you gotta lean. You gotta turn those handlebars and you gotta lean. So again, he's leaning his front shoulder over. You want to counterbalance. All right. So clearly you can see that we have different goals. Some people are going for this 18 foot box. Some people are going for the big box. Um, but some of the traits are the same. If you're going for the 18 foot box, you got to lean the motorcycle right away. Commit to the lean right away. You got to be going fast enough where you can do that. If you're going too slow, you can't lean the bike without it falling. Okay. Also, uh, some of you guys are still leaning like this. Don't lean with the motorcycle. Counterbalance the motorcycle. Your body should be straight up and down when you make this U-turn. Let the bike lean under you, right? That's, it's gonna make this so much easier and so much better. That's for you too, Lee. Make sure you counterbalance that motorcycle, all right? Any questions? All right, we're gonna do it from a stop now. Again, I don't mean that you have to stop and start right there. You can move forward a little bit and then make the U-turn. All right, let's do it, Lee, right here. All right, U-turn. Lee is not happy with that. See him shaking his head. He let the speed take him out wide. All right, you turn. So if he went a little deeper into this U-turn, he would have made this without hitting this first cone. Straight through. Just go straight through, don't stop. Head and eyes, head and eyes, keep it loaded, 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 rear brake. All right. Your throttle's too low, keep it loaded. Straight through, straight through. Rear brake, rear brake, nice and easy. Too much speed, too much speed, too much speed. Straight through. Good, stay at that speed, get your throttle up. Head and eyes, good, hold that, hold that. Rear brake, nice and easy, there we go. Hold that rear brake, nice and easy. All right, you turn. Doing great, Heather. See how she snaps her head in the riser? Nice. Heather's definitely been watching the channel and paying attention. She knows the answers to all of the questions. She snapped her head to the left. All right, you turn. Nice counterbalance. Nice. See that counterbalance? See how he's like this when he's making the turn? All right, when you come, to, when you make this turn, make sure you turn your head and your eye. You're looking at these cones every time, and that's why you're going there. Counterbalance. Reload, good. Open up the clutch. Good, head and eyes, head and eyes. 
See, he's picking up speed. That's why he's pushing him out that way. All right, right. U-turn. Yeah. Nothing changes, man. Okay. Go straight a little bit. Keep it loaded. Turn your head and your eyes. Yeah. Rear brake. Drag it. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right, too much speed. That's all. All right, good stop. U-turn. Preload, drag that rear brake, head and eyes. Look at me. Good, good, get that foot up. All right, too much speed. Straight through, straight through, straight through, straight through. Yeah, and come back around here, come back around here. Tom. See, this is what I'm talking about when I say options, guys. I told Tom to come back here, and he's, 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 he's taking the long way, you know? But he, that's, that's why we're here. We're going to work on that. All right, shut that off. Okay. So what's going on with Tom... I know I said commit to the lean right away. What Tom is doing is he's coming into the U-turn like this. So he's losing space. He should be coming in the U-turn like this. But he's doing this. So because you're doing that, you're coming in here and you start your turn like this. This is what you're doing. You're losing all this space. When what you need to do is head and eyes, handlebars, commit. You have to commit. You're not committing. You're gradually going into the turn. You don't have space for that. All right? So we're going to try that again with you. Commit to the turn and the lean right away. Again, it's not a big commitment. It's not like marriage. Right? You don't have to lean a lot. You don't have to lock anything. But if you do it right away, it's going to work out. Trust me. It's going to work out. Trust and believe, baby. Are you going to do it from here? That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Don't overthink it. It's the same thing. When you start moving forward, just get yourself at a speed that's appropriate. And then head and eyes, turn your handlebars, stay in the friction zone, and drag the rear brake. All right? That's what's going to correct you. Right here? Fine. Just going to ride straight in. Make a U-turn. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Come on, lean it. You're going too slow. Too slow. All right. Tom's not feeling it. But he's going to practice until he does feel it. Nice stop. All right. Nothing changes, man. Go forward. Get, get a nice speed. Head and eyes. Commit. Wherever you are in the friction zone, stay there. Drag that rear brake. If you see that you're going out wide, get more pressure on the rear brake. All right? Subtle, though. Subtle. Good. Head and eyes. Lean it. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Come on. Come to me. You're going too slow. You're going too slow. You got to be able to lean. And you can't lean if you're going that slow. All right. You turn. Come to a stop. Beautiful. Right turns next. Right turns next. All right, come to a stop. Looking good, man. Looking good. See right there, he didn't want to lean right away. But again, that's extreme. It's not necessary. And you see the disappointment in his face because he wants it. And that's fine. All right, you're going to come to a stop over there. You make this, as soon as you start moving, I want you to stay in the friction zone. Right now, you're not being consistent in the friction zone, the rear brake, or the throttle. So that's why we're having so many issues. Get up to a good enough speed where you can lean comfortably, 
if you see that you're going wide, a little bit more pressure on the rear brake, but keep it loaded. All right. And look at me. Good. Come to me. Look at me. Look at me. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right. All right. When you start moving, you're going to look at me and come to me. Right now, this bike is like this. Is it because of the stage four, you think? No, I think it's more because of me. Good. Good man. Good man. Poor craftsman blames his tools. Just get up to a good speed. Stay in the friction zone. Use the rear brake. If you see you're going wide, more rear brake. Let's do it. Speed. Give me more speed. More speed. Going too slow. All right. That's another 10. Good stop. All right, you turn, come to a stop. Just like you did it before. Good, head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Throttle's very low, man, the whole engine is shaking. We gotta work on your preload. It's very low, but good job. That's right, that's 20 for you today. Hey, I already did my 10. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Ask the other guys, I was just No, I believe you. Uh, come to a stop. Looking good, Heather. Good, a little more speed, a little more speed. Good, lean it over, lean it over. Good, come to a stop. Good job. All right, come to a stop. Nice stop. You guys are funny, man. <laughs> yeah, man. They're going for it, man. They want it. They can taste it. All right, beautiful. Make sure your speed's high enough where you can lean and just keep everything the same. Throttle, clutch. If you see you're going wide, a little bit more pressure on the rear brake. Head and eyes, look at me. Keep it loaded, come on, come on. Power, power, look at me, look at me, look at me. Yeah, you are obsessed with these cones. <laughs> All right. All right, nice stop. Come to a stop over here. Too slow. Yeah, that's why you can't. That's why you don't want to lean. Nobody wants to lean when they're going too slow because it's gonna fall. So a little bit faster. When you start to lean, if you feel like you're going too wide, rear brake. It's gonna pull you in. All right, but keep it loaded. Good, good. Faster, faster. Head and eyes. Look at me. Hold it. Hold it. Rear brake. Rear brake. There we go. Come to a stop. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. He's taking the instruction well. Awesome stop. So, so, yeah, same thing. When you start, don't be going too fast. Don't be going too slow. When you go too slow, you don't want to lean the bike. It's going to fall, I understand. Keep your throttle loaded. If you see that you're going wide, more rear brakes going to pull you in. All right, but keep it loaded. Look at me. When you get at the top, look at me. Good. Good. Come on, look at me. Come to me. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. There we go. Come to a stop. Nice. All right. So now that we know, as soon as you start to move, turn your head and your eyes and your handlebars. Look at me and come to me. Good. Head and eyes. Lean it. Turn it. Turn it. You're not leaning at all. You got to turn. <laughs> and guys, we're going to see how they do going right. Because you know what? Everybody's got a strength. Right's better than left. Left's better than right. So we'll see. All 
All right, excellent stop. Same thing, get yourself up to enough speed where you can turn the handlebars and lean comfortably. Stay in the friction zone, use the rear brake. Head and eyes, look at me and come to me. Good, reload. Good, good, head and eyes, lead it, come to me. All right, now we're going right turn, straight through. Straight through. I see his body positioning. He's going for the 18. I see the body being positioned. He's going for 18. Counterbalance, very nice. Head and eyes! Head and eyes! All right, that's better, but I need you to go faster so you can lean, okay? Good job. His rights are better than his lefts. He looks more comfortable doing it, I can tell you that much. Stay at that speed, stay at that speed. Head and eyes, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That's another 10. So what he's doing is he keeps pulling in the clutch. And he's, in, he's doing it in a lean. That's why the foot keeps coming down. Good, a little faster, a little faster. Head and eyes, head and eyes, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There you go, look at me. That's what I'm talking about. He's looking at me the whole time. And when he looks at me the whole time, his turn stays steady. When he's looking at the cones, his handlebars are going like this. A little bit more speed, have a little bit more speed. Head and eyes, a little bit more speed. Yeah, you can't, you can't lean going that slow, a little bit faster. Let me get out of this box. I know he's going for it. That's 10. Do it just like you did before. Good. A little faster. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come on. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Oh, you had it, man. That's 10 push ups. You had it, man. That was gonna be the tightest turn of the day for him. Good, slow down, slow down, head and eyes. Head and eyes, turn it, turn it. Now you're going too slow. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. It's another 10. Good, stay at that speed, head and eyes. Don't slow down too much, head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep going, keep going, don't give up. All right. He's gotta turn his handlebars more. Good, head and eyes, stay at that speed. Head and eyes. He's gotta lean the motorcycle more. He's gotta turn the handlebars more. That's all he's gotta do. If he does a little bit of both, that, that should do it. Good, head and eyes, look at me. Too slow, too slow, too slow, you can't lean. All right, you're looking down the whole time. We gotta get those head and eyes up. Oh man, that was it. One of you guys are gonna get it. <laughs> Look at the counterbalance. Nice counterbalance, nice counterbalance. Stay at that speed, don't slow down. Head and eyes, look at me. Head and eyes, come to me, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, you're going too slow, speed up. All right, we're getting there. Your rights are better than your lefts. Stay at that speed, don't slow down, head and eyes. Stay at that speed, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, you're slowing down. That's why it's slowing down. Good, good, speed up, keep it loaded, head and eyes. Look at me, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, come to me. There we go, good. Good, stay at that speed, stay at that speed. Head and eye, lean it. Good, rear brake, rear brake. Money, baby, money! Head 
Head and eyes, commit. Throw it over. Keep it loaded. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Good. Stay at that speed. Don't slow down. Head and eyes. Come on, lean it, lean it. Speed up, speed up, speed up. All right. You just didn't lean, that's all. You slowed down too much. You slowed down too much. Stay at that speed. Stay at that speed. Lean it, lean it. Head and eyes, look at me. Come on, come on. Whoa! Woo! His heel went, his heel went right into that uh, saddlebag guard. Luckily for him, the saddlebag guard moved a little bit. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes, look at me. Come to me. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You're still leaning like this. You're leaning with it. You gotta counterbalance. Good, good, stay at that speed a little faster. You're going too slow. Head and eyes, lean it. Lean it, hold it, lean it. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Oh, that was it. Stay at that speed, stay at that speed. You're going too slow, speed up, speed up. Head and eyes, look at me. Come to me, look at me, you're looking at these cones. Wow, all the way down to the last cone he's staring at. It's an obsession. All right, you turn. You just gotta commit to that lean earlier. Yeah. Alright, you turn. Nice. As he went to throw it over, I heard his throttle come up. Yeah, your rights are definitely better than your lefts. Everybody's got one side stronger than the other, though. Okay, same thing. I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. Good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Too much speed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Easy on that rear brake, man. Easy on that rear brake. Good, good. Head and eyes. Good, good speed. Rear brake, rear brake. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. See, I didn't want him to... I don't want him to think speed is necessary. Just power. We don't need speed, we need power. All right, let's do it. Good, keep it loaded, look at me, come to me, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, straighten out. Nice, man, best one of the day. Faster, 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 head and eyes, lean it over. You're going too slow, you're going too slow, you're going too slow. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I forgot to tell you to stop, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, you turn. Nice. All right, you turn. Make sure your speed's up enough. Okay. All right? And Hold when on. you yeah, don't, definitely don't do that. Once you start moving, just stay there. All right? Head and eyes, look at me when you get up there. Come to me. Good, good. Head and eyes. More speed, more speed. Good, good. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You're looking at those cones over there the whole time. But good job. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Straight through, straight through. Come on. Good, good, good. Head and eyes. See, you're doing that same thing. You're gradually turning. You got to commit to that turn. All right, nice and easy. When you start moving, make sure you stay wherever you are, stay there, okay? Friction zone, stay there, nice and smooth. Just drag the rear brake. But don't be going so slow that you can't lean, okay? All right, 
Look at me when you get up there. Come to me. Good. Head and eyes. Look at me. Lean it over. Lean it over. Good, good, good. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I've never seen such a strong obsession with these cones. <laughs> you, I mean, I'm, it doesn't matter what I say. You're like, no, I'm going to look at this damn cone. It's human nature. Absolutely. All right. Head and eyes. Look at me. Good. Look at me. All right, come to a stop. Oh, like butter, baby, like butter. You can take a break. Take a break. All right, you're going to come to a stop this time. You can take a break. Good, head and eyes, lean it over, look at me, look at me, come on, keep it up, good, good, good. Come to a stop, straighten out, straighten out, easy on that rear brake, good job, man. Yeah, yeah, you can take a break, yeah, quick break. All right, nice and easy on that rear brake, speed up, good, head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. When he gets to the top, he slows down. All right. A lot of you, when you're getting up to the top, you're slowing down. Then you can't lean. Keep that speed constant. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Stop looking at the cones. You were doing fine until you looked at the cones. All right, come to a stop and then take a break. Good, head and eyes, look at me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Straighten out. Come to a stop, nice and smooth. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo wee. All right, come to a stop and then you can take a break. Quick break. Good. Keep it loaded. Good job. Take a break. All right, come to a stop. You can take a quick break. Excellent. All right, come to a stop over here and then take a break. Doing good, man. Doing really good. Good, good. Get some speed. Good. Keep it up. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. That rear brake. Use that rear brake. Take a break. Yeah, I got to make you stop because if I let you ride in here, you start doing this gradual thing. You, you start doing that gradual thing if I let you just roll in. So we're going to do it from a stop. After today, the first chance you get, change these bars. And I'm, I'm very curious to see. As a matter of fact, do me a favor. Go right over to my bike and try it on my bike. The key is in it.
All right, that last one was good. Let's do that again. Make sure you keep the speed up and not too much. It's pretty common. You can't find what? Can't find neutral? Well, good. We don't need to be in neutral. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Good, head and eyes, lean it over, lean it over, head and eyes, head and eyes. Alright, I'll take it, come to a stop. Come to a stop over here. Good, more speed, more speed. Head and eyes, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm not the cone, I'm over here. Come to a stop. All right, take a break. All right, come to a stop, take a break. There we go. All right, last time, so we got this. Come to a stop over here. Good, look at me, come to me. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Pulling in the clutch, going too slow, that's all, come to a stop. All right, take a break. All right, you coming to a stop over here and then taking a break. Yeah, so just make sure we're in the friction zone more. Open that clutch up a little bit more. Good, open up that clutch. Head and eyes. Stay at that speed. Wow, way too slow. Take a break, take a break. All right, come to a stop and then take a break. Head and eyes. Lean it over, lean it over, lean it over. You're going too slow. Too slow, good, good, good. Come to a stop. Way to work it out, man. Take a break, way to work it out. All right, go straight through, don't stop. Good, head and eyes. Turn it, turn it, turn it. All right, all right. All right, I tried to give him another bike with the bars different, see if that helped, but he got to be comfortable turning those bars, leaning the motorcycle. All right, we're going to move on to exercise number seven, uh, figure eight. All right, guys, exercise number seven, figure eight. Uh, Joe Go is leaving now. He's got a two-hour ride ahead of him. But before he leaves, he's doing a single serpentine. We're always practicing. All right, guys. Uh... Guys, don't get discouraged if something's not happening. Like I said before, your biggest critic is going to be you. All right? How often... Uh, tell me your name again. Jerry or Terry? Terry. Terry, how often do you practice U-turns? Zero. Okay. So I'm going to tell you like I told this young lady that I was doing a practice session with. Man, was... Hey, Ali, your bike's on. Man, was she frustrated with herself because she could not do what she was trying to do. And I asked her, how often do you practice? And she said, zero. I said, you don't earn the right to be frustrated yet. If you practice all the time and you're not getting it, bam, then you could be frustrated. This is just a result of, this is the first day, right? So don't be tough on yourself. Just pick up what you need work on. For the most part, most of you need to slow down. You're going too fast. Or in your case, you're not turning the handlebars enough and you're not leaning enough. So the beauty of that is, all you have to do is do a little bit of both. And you should be right where you need to be. All right? All right. Did you now? So it's the camera. <laughs> it's the camera. It's messing you up. All right. And kudos to... Uh, tell me your name. Jim? Jeff. Jim. 
kudos to Jim. Jim's motorcycle has a stage four on it. And I gave him an out. I said, well, you think the bike's too powerful? He said, no, it's me. Love that. A poor craftsman blames his tools. Because if he said it was him, I was going to say, let me try it. You know, uh, that's what I'm talking about, man. I love accountability. That's what the push-ups are all about. It's about accountability, right? But it's also, it's, I, that's why I tell people, I don't care how the push-ups look. I don't care if your ass is all the way in the air. None of that matters. It's what they represent. It's getting you out of a habit of doing something. All right? All right, any questions on that? Great. This is exercise number seven, the figure eight. So here's what I'll tell you guys. The width of this is the same as that U-turn box, 27 feet. You got 46 feet of length. So step a little closer, guys. It's about right here, or you, you know, whatever. This is, the way, this is where you guys are going to come in. The other four cones you see doubled, that's where you're going to go out. Entrance, exit. So when you first come in here, this is all about a few things. One, if you were making that U-turn and going outside of it, going too fast, you're going to have the same problem here because this is the same thing. It's a U-turn, right? But it's more than a U-turn because now we're going to hold that turn. Hold that turn. And I want to give a shout out. Chris? Fred? With, with <laughs> Lee, getting annoyed at themselves for not making the 18-foot, that's first world problems. That's what I like to call that. You know, nobody gives a shit about that, you know, that you guys can't do that. But uh, the things I'll say to you guys is the same thing. If you commit to that lean right away, turn your head and you snap your head. Where's, where's, uh, okay, I guess she dropped out. Her hand. Oh, a hand. Okay. But when I watch her make a, U a U-turn, Man, does she snap her head in her eye. Boom. So she's been paying attention, man. She definitely has. Another thing a lot of you guys were doing is your speed would be fine. As soon as you go to turn, you slow down. Now you can't lean. So, of course, now it feels like, oh, crap, oh, crap, because you're going too slow. That's why I say just keep that same speed. And then uh, what, where's he at? what you were doing is you would start going too fast. Like you were kind of, you were doing that swooping thing. You come in here and just try to, and I'm like, no, 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 it's friction zone. Pull, let it pull you through the U-turn, all right? With that being said, when you guys come in here, you're gonna come all the way, I'm gonna be standing over here. Come all the way over here. Now the guys that are trying to make 18 foot U-turns, they don't need all of this space. So I'm gonna say, use all the space that you need. If you need it all, use it all. Don't give anything away. So what am I referring to? When you come over here, if you start this turn early and you're this far from these cones, you need to make it up down there. Now, again, tell me your name, big guy. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie's right turns are definitely better than his lefts. That's what I picked up in the U-turn box. So if his right turns are better than his lefts, when he makes this left turn, if he rips himself off, he might still be fine down here because he leans, he's more comfortable leaning the bike going right. But I still don't want you to do that. Don't make this harder for yourself. Don't make it scarier. You get over here, head and eyes. I want you to look at that green cone. And some of you guys, I was yelling at you, hold it, hold it. That's what I want you to do. Hold your turn. Oh, tell me your name. Chuck. Chuck. When Chuck was first making the U-turns, his handlebars were going like this, right? Next time he came through, I said, Chuck, look at me. Keep looking at me. The whole time he looked at me, his handlebar stayed like this. Because I said, come to me. He was like this. I'm coming to you, mother father. I'm coming. Head and eyes are so important, man. They really are. So look at that green cone and hold the turn. Hold it. Hold it. When you get to 12 o'clock, look at that green cone and hold it. Now, I mean, use all of this space. Don't make this tight. You don't have to lean a lot. Hold it. But the goal is when you get on this side of this turn, I want you on the left side, or at least even, with this green cone. I don't want you all the way over here because then, good luck, right? Now, if you're not comfortable making this transition to finish that, just hold the turn and I want you to go out on this side of the green cone. That's what I want you to do. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you're not, if you're going to keep doing this, as you're holding this turn, don't start coming out right here, right? We're doing a fat figure eight. 
That means we're going to the sides. Once you go to this corner, you're not going to that corner again until you're leaving because we're going to do this twice because a broken clock is right twice a day. So hold it, hold it. When you transition, you should be facing this way or maybe a little bit this way, but you shouldn't be like this. Again, not impossible, but I'm trying to make this easier. And when you transition now, what we did in the single serpentine, transition. Don't transition like this. Also, keep your speed constant. When you slow down, it's harder to turn the handlebars. Hold the speed, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition, head and eyes. Look at that green cone. Hold this turn, hold it, hold it, hold it. When you get to the top, head and eyes. Hold it, hold it. I'm going to that cone. Go to it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition, you should be transitioning about right here. If you transition late, you're gonna end up over here. Do it twice. And, and then get the hell out. Move on with your life. All right? Any questions? All right, I'm going to run through it. Um, first, I'm going to run through it using all of the space. And then I'm going to run through it. I'm going to tighten it up. The only thing that's going to change, if you listen to my throttle, it's the same. I'm going to lean a little bit more. I'm going to turn the handlebars a little bit more. That's the only thing that's going to tighten it up. Tell me your name again. Ray. Ray. I've already contacted the Columbus police so they can come lock you up because, I mean, he's obsessed with these cones, man. <laughs> I'm, I could be this close to his ear going, look at me! He's named every cone since he's been out here. <laughs> and he said it doesn't feel natural, and I get it. Trust me, I get it. Now, you're kind of new to the channel. There's a guy, I used to call him Security Bill. And, man, Security Bill would not stop looking at my cones, right? So I had him walk his bike and turn his head in his eyes, and he was still looking at the cones. Then I had him mime it, no motorcycle. And he was still looking at the cone. So something else was going on. So, so that's what I mean when I said we all learn differently. We got we to gotta dig deep, find out what the hell's going on. And he could not. Well, he rides a, a Pan Am now. so. But I still want him to turn his head in his eyes. Shout out to Security Bill. He came out with that Pan Am and tried to do a U-turn at 27 feet. They won't do it. Somebody that rides an Indian must have been doing this. Hey. I told him, try it on my bike. I see blankets coming on, all kind of shit. He don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, get my speed appropriate. That's good. And a nice, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. And a nice, hold it, hold it, and a nice, hold it, hold it. I'm dragging the rear brake the whole time. Listen to the throttle. The throttle is the same. Boom. Any questions? Lee Sturgis, show him how it's done. Tom said he's going to watch this one. And that's perfectly fine. Like I said, guys, there's no pressure here. Nice, nice transition. Very nice. It's good. Good catch, good catch. Keep it loaded. Nice. Next. Chris made his own entrance. Nice, nice, nice. Easy on that rear brake. I can I can tell by the way it sounds if it's being bogged down. Could be making them fight. Don't make them fight. They live in harmony. Good job. A little bit more speed, a little bit more speed. Good, head and eyes, keep it loaded. Hold it, come to me, come to me. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Open that clutch up, open it up. 
good. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Good. We're there, man. Halfway there. Head and eyes. Look at me. Good. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Transition. Ten push-ups. Good job, man. Good job. That was beautiful. Keep it up. Whoa, watch that foot. Open that clutch. Come on, come on. Kickstand's down. You kickstand. Kickstand. Another 10 push ups. Start over. Come right back in. Speed up, speed up a little. Good, speed up, keep that speed. Head and eyes, whoa, good, 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 good. Straight out, go straight out. That first turn he made was pretty impressive. He didn't put a foot down. Keep your speed up, keep your speed up, keep your speed up. All right, he's really early there. Head and eyes, come to me. Too much speed. Good. Counterbalance, baby, counterbalance. Uh-oh. There we go, baby. More speed, more speed, more speed. More speed, more speed. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. You keep trying to yank this thing by those bars. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. No problem. No problem. You'll get the next one. Trust me. The next one you'll get. Because it's a little easier. Yeah, but remember. It's only going to fall down because, well, if you're hitting the back brake hard, yeah, even if you're in the friction zone. Well, that's what, yeah, that's it's too what much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Keep that speed up. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Come to me. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Oh, you're going out. Okay, good. That's good. That was an excellent turn. Excellent turn. He's on this side of the uh, green cone, too. There you go, counterbalance, good. First world problem. <laughs> there you go, just go around again. Transition. Keep it loaded. He's still good. He made that turn so tight, he had room to spare. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Good, there we go. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Transition. This is it, people, this is it. Nice, head and eyes, never put a foot down. Good job, buddy. Damn. 
I lead, threw it into that. See how he's leaning with the motorcycle? Keep it loaded, keep it loaded! Very nice. Oh, he's going again! Woo! Ah, oh, man! Oh, man! Right at the end! <laughs> right at the end! <laughs> he got too cocky at the end. I can't give him a ka -ching. That's a goddamn shame, man. But the rules are the rules. Who am I to change him? Oh, yeah, I made them. <laughs> you know what? There you go. Easy on that rear brake! Easy on that rear brake! Easy on that rear brake! I can hear the conflict. Good, more speed, more speed. Good, head and eyes. Look at me, come to me. Oh, you're looking down, you're looking down, look at me. All right. Keep up that speed. Head and eye. Rear brake, rear brake. <laughs> clutch, man, clutch. Hold it in. Looking good, though. Looking good. That's that, that definitely better than when you were over here. Definitely better. His bike's protected, so no damage. And he let it go. He didn't pull it all the way down, so it didn't go beyond the engine guards onto his fairing. Good. Keep that speed up. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Last time, last time. Nice and smooth. A little bit of pressure on the rear brake. His throttle is steady. Good. Had a nice. You should be looking at the exit right about here. Good, good, good. Beautiful. You can meet me right here. Come on, come on. Head and eyes. Good, you're good, you were good, see? You were good. And that's because he's looking at those cones instead of looking over there. Good? All right. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to, actually, Oh, you coming back in? Last time, good. Head and eyes, look at me, come to me. Look at me, come to me. You were good right there. 
What happened is, you were looking at those cones and you saw you got close and fucked you all up. When you should have been looking at that cone because you were fine. As a matter of fact, it was the perfect use of the space. You were right there. So when you do that, make sure you're looking at that cone. And then when you get to the top, I'm going to be over here. You look at me. Just don't go too fast, okay? Good. Good. Speed. More speed. More speed. Head and eyes. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Look at me. All right. Stage over here. So there's something he's got to work on. All right, guys. We're going to move on to exercise number eight. Offset double serpentine. That should be a little bit easier for some of them. All right. Moving right along, gentlemen. Exercise number eight. Offset double serpentine. We're going to be dealing with transitions again here. Just like the figure eight, at no time should your handlebars be straight. If your handlebars are, end up straight at any time, you're going too slow. Okay? All right. So the beauty about this exercise is I got a handicap on it. See how my motorcycle's facing? That's probably the best way for you to come in. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can go in straight. Because once you come in the gate, I don't want you to go right to the next gate. If you go right to the next gate and all day today you've been kind of apprehensive to lean, forget about it. You're not going to make this. Because if you go straight to it, and now you have to make this turn, your turn's going to be so wide that you're already beyond the next gate. All right? So what I want you to do is think about exercise number five again. If you were struggling with that, not a big deal. As soon as you come past these cones, do a transition. Dip it to the right. Now don't dip it to the right and then immediately come back up because now you're right back where I don't want you to be. I want you to be all the way over here. Head and eyes, handlebars. So now when you approach this cone, and I want you to favor the outside cone. If you're closer to the inside cone, you're wasting space. This is a much better angle. When you get here, head and eyes. Again, I don't want you going right to the next gate. Look at the gate you came from. Hold this turn. Here we go again. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't start coming out. Hold it. Head and eyes. Transition. Handlebars. Favor the outside cone. Head and eyes. Look at the gate you came from. So it's almost like we're doing figure eights again. Right? Hold it. Hold it. And when you transition, transition, boom. Let the motorcycle fall into the turn. Head and eyes, transition, boom, boom. That's what I want to see. I don't want you doing this straight up. Is it possible? Yes. But that's not the exercise here. I want you to be comfortable leaning this motorcycle without going extremely fast and leaning it. Okay? Any questions? I'm going to run through it the way I just told you to do it. Then I'm going to come back doing it just going straight to the gates, which is much more work. But I don't want you to come back through it once you go through. Go through it, go around, I'm gonna do it again. Now the green cones are for if this feels too tight for you. No problem. Shit, it's supposed to be a green, oh it is. So when you start, don't start going through this gate. Start going around this green cone. But the rules are still the same. As Soon as you clear it, all the way to the right. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Head nice, transition. Go around the green cone. Now, I'm not saying go all the way to the damn building to go around the green cone, but you know, kind of stay tight to it. And when you get around that green cone, look at the where you came from, hold it, hold it, hold it, green cone, all right? Same thing, but I'm giving you a little bit more space to work with. Again, I don't want you straight up. Lean the motorcycle, show her who the boss is. As long as you're going fast enough, you'll be fine. Oh my God, Lee, you did some, you did something befitting of your name, boy, when you were in there, boy. That lean was... Trust and believe, man, big time. And that U-turn box. Dip it. And a nice. Hold it. Hold it. And a nice. Transition. Fall into it. And a nice. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Straight to it. So the second way is possible, but it's just more work. All right? Any questions? All right, Lee. Woo! Good. 
how long he held that? Perfect. Now he's right on top of the inside cone, but he's all right. He doesn't need all of the space. Nice. See how he made up for it right there? Nice. That's a trust and believe moment right there. This all comes in, guys. I'm telling you. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Hold it. Transition. Now this motorcycle is a little easier to turn. So right there. Oh, no. Yeah, he's way beyond. He's still going for it, though. There we go. He's sticking with it. Bogging down that bike with the rear brake. Go ahead and eyes, come to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Transition. Good. Hold that turn. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good. Head and eyes. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good. Hold it, hold it. Oh, man. We were there. Got to keep the speed up. Come to me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. It's another 10. He's got to stay in the friction zone. He's going to lean that motorcycle without enough power going to the rear wheel. If you do that, it's going to fall. Come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Transition. Good, good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold that turn, hold that turn. You got it, you got it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get through there. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Come to me, all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. See, that happens all the time. I'm telling people to come to me, and then they go, I'm ready to turn. And then this is the result. You gotta trust me. If I tell you to come to me, keep coming to me. See how he's still leaning into the turns like this? He should be counterbalancing. All right, working it out. Use the green cones. Good, head and eyes, come to me, come to me, come to me. Come on, come on. I didn't say turn. All right. Quite a few of you guys are saying, screw you, Robert. I'm saying, come to me, come to me. And then you just go, now nah, I'm ready to turn now. And then it all falls apart. So when you guys come in here, if I say come to me, don't turn until I say transition, okay? And I'm telling you, I want you to go around the green cones. So when you go around this green cone, and I say come to me, come to me, come to me, you're gonna go around that green cone, and that green cone, yeah, the outside. We gotta crawl before we can walk. We about we're about building confidence here. It doesn't make sense to start here if you're not ready for it. But come to me. Don't transition until I say transition. Good. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn. Transition. Good. Hold that turn. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Transition. Good. 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 Keep it loaded. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on, come to me, come to me, come to me. Transition. Good, head and eyes, come to me. Keep it loaded, come to me, come to me. Good job. There we go. Same thing. Green cone. Good, come to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Come on, come to me, come to me, come to me. Done? Okay.
Go to the snowman! Nice. There we go. Nice. You just committed a little bit early to that turn. Come to me. Come to me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Transition. All the way over. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Transition. Come on over. Lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. So yeah, I know he's really, really wide. But again, we gotta crawl before we can walk. Go, come to me. Come on, come on, come on, you're going too fast. Transition. Lean it. Head and eyes, come to me. Come on, come on, come on. Transition, slow down. Good, come to me. Come on, come on, all the way over, all the way over. Transition. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Easy on that rear brake. So he didn't come over enough. So now he's straight up now. Everything is straight up. Now he's right on top of that gate. And he'll still make this. But if I had nine gates like I normally do, yeah, it, it'll, it'll catch you eventually. All right. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Slow down. Too much speed, too much speed. Good, hold that, hold that. Come to me, hold it, hold it. Too much speed, come on, come on. Transition, slow down, slow down. Whoa, too much speed. So he's not comfortable in the friction zone. So he's gonna introduce speed, he's going very fast. Good, come to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Transition, good. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good, head and eyes, head and eyes. Come on, come on, come on. Transition. All right, head over there. Good job. All right, exercise number nine, abominable snowman, and I'm just doing a you know, a demonstration. And the, the important thing here, guys, is look at my wheel placement. Like I'm using all of the space all the way over to the side, hug those two cones and then commit. My speed is the same or, you know, if it's if it's not exactly the same, there's not a lot of differences, differences in the speed. Head and eyes. My head is always looking over my shoulder. And then right here, look at where I place my wheel, hug those two cones and then commit to the turn. And then I can just keep going around and around but you have to pay attention because just because you make it around once doesn't mean you're going to make it around again right here i was going to try to go back in and now make a left turn and right there this didn't work out pause trust and believe boom let's look at that again because trust and believe comes in more than you think boom anytime you don't put your foot down that's trust and believe guys i'm losing it i had to risk I had the receiver on my pants and the microphone on top of the camera. I mean, just losing it, man. I got it, I got it, I got it. 
He definitely trusts and believes. And I'm watching his hand. He leaned it all the way over, and then I just saw his hand go like this. That's right, baby. No feet down. Come on, come on, hug him, come in. Nice job, man, nice job. Now I think last year when I was here, Chris was, was, was up here trying this 18 foot. I can't remember if he did it or not, but, oh yeah, I remember he was trying and trying and, man, eh, maybe it was him, I'm, I'm confused now. I was up here for two days, so. Lean it over, baby, lean it over. Ah! <laughs> All right, a little more speed, a little more speed. A little more speed, preload. Throttle's too low. All the way over, all the way over, all the way over. Hug those two, hug them. All right, commit, commit. Hold that turn. Hold it, head and eyes, keep it loaded. Easy on that rear brake. Go back out. Oh, you're going around again. All right, good, you're good. All the way over, all the way over, all the way over. Hug him, hug. Oh no, you gotta turn more than that. Going that way? All the way over, all the way over. All right, hug those two cones. All right, commit, lean it. More speed, more speed, open the clutch. Open the clutch, head and eyes, head and eyes. Lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Good, good, good. All the way over to the right, all the way over, all the way over. All right, you turned early, you turned early. Lean it, baby, lean it, lean it, lean it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. And that's with him turning early. All the way over, all the way over. Head nice, turn it. Oh, now you gotta lean, you gotta lean. The entrance is right there. Ah, <laughs> right, we good, we good. Good, hold that turn. Keep the throttle where it is, keep the clutch where it is, turn your head and your eyes, lean it. Good, good, good. Not bad at all. All the way to the left. Too early, too early, too early. I'm talking about that's what happens when you don't lean when you don't have any feel leaning the motorcycle I'm with I'm right there with him the whole time looking at what he's doing he, he trusts and he believes so
Come on, come on. Hug him. Commit. First world problems. So now Chris is feeling the pressure. I know he is. Now he wants to come up to this 18 foot circle. I know it. Well, we'll see. Maybe I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, damn it. <laughs> little bit more speed, a little bit more speed. Good. Good. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Excellent. Excellent. Woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. And he's smiling while he's doing it. It's a good feeling. You know, it's a, it's a huge accomplishment. We good? All right. All right, guys, we're going to move on. We're done with the numbered exercises. Oh man, Lee Sturgis. I'm telling you, with a name like that, you had to do this, right? All right, guys, we're going to move on to uh, bonus exercise. The first bonus exercise, the maze, baby. Tell me your name again. Fred. Fred? Yep. This is just the worst day ever for me with names. I'm sorry, man. That's all right. So, some of these things you guys are not going to notice probably here, but when you go back and watch this video, Fred had a trust and believe moment. And sometimes it's so subtle, you don't even realize it. Whereas he was doing something and he was, he, was getting, he was getting ready to try to go into a circle and it didn't work out. And for that split second, he was just sitting there like this, feet on the boards. And then he opened up the clutch and he left. That's trust and belief, right? But if he doesn't, if he never did trust and believe or even did any of this, in his mind, it's just put my foot down. It's the only option that comes to his mind, right? I love it. I love it. And you guys may not realize this, but the, even your stops, everything is smoother than it was when you first got here. All right. Okay. This is a bonus exercise, guys. The maze. Like everything else, it's voluntary. If you haven't made an 18-foot U-turn today, you just want me to pick up cones. That's all that's about. <laughs> right? I'm not trying to discourage you. Go for it. But keep in mind, like I told you guys, you guys are advanced. So somebody said to me, why is your class called advanced riding? Your stuff's not even tight. And my response was, well, in my opinion, IMO, something that's advanced means a small amount of people are proficient at it. That's this, right? So this is advanced as far as I'm concerned. Uh, some of it is tight. Lee, oh my God, man. Just beautiful, man. And the fact that I was in the circle with him, I should have had my camera right here. But that was perfect. I'm looking at him the whole time. His hand stayed right where it was. Your hand, when you went in here and you saw, uh-oh, boom. So... I told you earlier, guaranteed or your money back. Provide power, it's not going to fall. All right? But you guys are advanced because these are only 36 feet long. So with that being said, don't rip yourself off. When you come in here, oh, Joe, I see crooked cones. Anyway, when you come in here, make sure you stay to the right and go as deep as you can. Right? Actually, this is not Joe. I think I did this. The green cones are the cones you're going around. Come in here deep. Don't turn too early. Head and eyes. And as soon as you make this turn, get your ass over to the left as quick as possible and hold it. Because you don't want to be like this because if my front wheel is here, where's my back wheel? So we want to kind of get straight. Head and eyes. Same thing. Now, if you want to ignore this keyhole, just ride right past it, right? If you come in this way, it's two lefts and one right. If you come in this way, it's two rights and one lefts. You can forget about that keyhole, even though you got a key card to the neighborhood now, Lee. 
So <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to run through it and then whoever's, who's doing it, first of all? Who's going to try it? Oh, gee, what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. And you, man, you're just doing phenomenal. Melissa, are you putting your hand up? Tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to remember that for tomorrow. <laughs> Duly noted. Melissa's going to do the bonus exercise, but she's not going to do the keyhole, she said. Nothing dragging, right? And you can just go straight out. Now, if you want to do the keyhole, Keyhole is no different than the top of that snowman except that exit. So you got to be able to upright that motorcycle and get out of there, right? So again, there's times to lean, there's times not to lean. That's what this exercise is about. We'll talk about that when we get to it. That's next. That's the bonus plus exercise to lean or not to lean. That's the question. All right, let's do it. Go ahead and eyes. Now you see what happened there. He didn't commit to the lean right away, and then at the last minute he committed to it. It's too late. Had a nice. Watch that foot. Oh my God. That's 10 push ups. So Lee, you just didn't commit right away. And when you did commit, it was too late. You got to commit right away. You didn't commit to the lean right away. And then when you saw I'm not going to make it, then you tried to lean. It was too late. Yes, sir. All right. All the way over. Oh! That heel, boy. Every time you put your foot down, you're playing Russian roulette with your ankle. And if it didn't catch it, it wasn't in the chamber. That's all that means. That was close. That's 10 push-ups too, by the way. You kind of started right here. Instead of being over here, you kind of ripped yourself off a little bit. And I knew, and you saw that because you looked over here. That's why you leaned it a lot. You still were good. Don't give up, man. Just, yeah, don't give up. Good, good, good. Keep that speed. All the way to the right. All the way to the right. Head and eyes. Commit. Commit. Got to keep that speed up. You ain't doing it straight up. That ain't going to happen. So a Harley Davidson motorcycle can't make an 18 foot turn straight up. His could. Keep that speed up, keep that speed up. Head and eyes, you gotta lean it. Gotta lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. You had it too. You see that you didn't hit the cone. At that lean, you had it. 10 push ups. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know. But this is extreme, so don't worry about that. Go all the way over, all the way over. It's not gonna happen. And that's because he didn't come all the way over. And that's only because he didn't come all the way over on the second turn. All right, guys. Bonus plus time. You, you, you guys thought you were working part-time today? Oh, no, it's a full-time job today. To lean or not to lean, that's what we're doing next. These cones are 10 feet apart. The goal today is to see who can get through the most cones without putting a foot down and without hitting a cone. It's called to lean or not to lean because 
if you're passing, if you're coming up on a cone and you see, I'm not going to make this straight up, but the only way you're going to get credit for it is if you pass it. Trust and believe. Let the bike fall a little bit. In other words, add a lean. That's the only way you're going to make that. All right? So it's up to you to decide, are you going to try to do this leaning it or straight up? I think only one bike could do it leaning it the whole time. Lee, your bike's on. All right, let me, let me run through it quickly. to lean. Lee? <laughs> Start from down there. All right, guys, to lean or not to lean? That is the question. Got Lee going first. There's two cones. Three cones! Three cones! The number to beat is three. One. Two cones, two cones. One. That's two. Two cones. That's it for you, buddy. You're out. You got to make full lock turns here. You got to turn those handlebars. Yep, that's it. That's two. <laughs> good, good. Turn those bars. Turn those bars. What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, man. That's it, you're out. You hit the first cone. All right, right now, Lee is leading with three cones. That's one, two, too much speed. Three cones again. So far he's leading. Lee, you got this, you gotta try this again, man. If you want. Good, that's one. That's it, you're out, you hit the cone. She might be tired. There we go. Oh, <laughs> nice, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Turn the bars, turn them. Good. Rear brake, rear brake, turn them. Turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them. Yeah, you're not turning it up. Oh, your highway peg. The highway peg got it. 
Three is the number to beat. Good. You're good. All right. And the number to beat is by this guy right here. Can he beat his own number? Too much speed, too much speed. Three again. All right, came in with too much speed. All right, guys, winding down, we're gonna move on to follow the leader, but we gotta go over the rules first. A lot of trusting and believing going on over there. A lot of trusting and believing. So leader, next two times you came through, you actually increased your speed. That was it, I already knew that wasn't gonna happen. You cannot go fast, you can't do slight turns in there. You gotta clear that first cone, go out from it, go back into it, go back into it, right? And then when you get to the end, you can get cocky and start leaning, right? All right, uh, but good job. FTL time, guys. What's FTL? Follow the leader. All right, listen to these rules closely, please, because sometimes people get eliminated, not because of skill, but because they weren't listening when I gave the instructions or the rules, so to speak. Follow the leader. Who's the leader? Today, it's me. Tomorrow, it's me. <laughs> um, do as I do in the way I do it. So what I mean is, if I stop on this line and I'm going to make a turn, and you decide to stop here, you're out. Let's see, right here in the middle, just pull right, uh, no, I like this circle right here. Pull right there, we're gonna do a circle around you. We're gonna honk our horns, saying bye-bye to you, but don't worry, you're not gonna be there for long by yourself. Okay, if you put a foot down, you're out and you owe me 10 push-ups. Pull into that circle, we're gonna do a circle around you. If you hit a cone, you're out, circle. Uh, that's it actually for here. If I make the turn, like I already said, wherever my wheel is, that's where your wheel goes. All right, it's not a democracy. You know? <laughs> Just do exactly how I do it. Now, at some point, I'm gonna slow down so much so that I'm trying to make you put your foot down. Now, the way this works is, if Lee is behind me, which he will be, if he puts his foot down and then you put your foot down, he's out, not you. Okay, that's how that's gonna work out. I kind of. So, are you guys tired? Because if you're tired, I get you out of here quick. You know. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any questions? All right. I'm gonna have a 360 camera. It's a lot of you guys. I don't expect anybody to turn anybody in if they don't, if they you know hit a cone or something. So I we go by the honor system. If you know damn well you did something and I didn't catch it, and when I'm editing this video, if I see it, I'm gonna blow your ass up. I'm just letting you know. All right. All right, let me get this camera up. I'm gonna put it, I gotta put this thing like nice and high. Still need up, stay humble, stay teed up. I don't tell you how to live. 
it, so don't hit me with no weak stuff And if you know the deal, then you know the deal If it's real, then you know it's real Toast Let's have a toast for the real vibes Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real vibes Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Did you enjoy yourself? Of course I did, so much. Beautiful. Yes. Um, man, you did fantastic today, man. Just Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. You remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Two and a half. Two and a half? All right. Yes, sir. Any change in that number? Here, here, here. Yes. Hold that. Yes. I don't want to be in the frame in case you stand back hard. I'm going to go up to a five. Dude, I, I, yes, sir. I, I, I completely disagree with a five. Nobody that's a five does it the top of the snowman. I'm just saying. I and I did things I never thought I could do. Exactly. So, so. including rating yourself properly. <laughs> yeah, that too. Pleasure to meet you, man. Thank See you again tomorrow. So yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. For and he's going to be here tomorrow on a allegedly a different motorcycle. Well, did you enjoy yourself? I did. I had a blast. It uh, kind of damaged my ego a little bit, but I learned a ton. Oh, I'll man. tell you. <laughs> How could you have damaged your ego when we left it in the grass? Remember? Well, that's yes, that's true. And that's why we leave it in the grass. So. A little on the pavement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out here? Uh, zero one. Any change in that number? Yes. Yeah, I learned a lot today. Okay. I know what to practice now, yeah, yeah, and exactly. I need to pra I practice. Mm -hmm. And I have a place to do it. Good. So yeah. does Ray, too. Are you going to? Yes. Beautiful. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you, brother. Nice meeting All you. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you got it, man. Robert. There he is. There he is. Thank you. You got it, man. Mr. Cohn. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely. Horrendous. Okay, good. <laughs> job, horrendous job. Fabulous opportunity here today. A lot of fun. Thank you. I humbling. Love to hear that. It's humbling. Yes, it is. That's yeah. the key word. It's humbling. It looks easy on the on the uh, YouTube uh, videos, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Two, two and a half. Any change in that number? No, I'll say if I was a two, I'll say two and a half. Beautiful. I learned some things. Beautiful. Yeah. Pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Thanks. All right. Come back in next year. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm not gonna lie, I forgot what you look like. Because you had that helmet on all day. <laughs> He's walking up. I'm like, who's this guy? I was like, oh, yeah. You enjoy yourself? I did. Okay. Um, you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Uh, I said between one and two. Any change in that? Yeah. Closer to a one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you know what you got to work on? A lot. And that's the key. Yep. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Thank you. All right. All that right, ball. Yeah, man. Good, good. That's what I love to hear, that man. Ball. You remember what you rated yourself? Oh, gosh. Maybe a one or two, and I think I'm a... Minus one or two. No. Okay. <laughs> I did I did learn some stuff. Good. You know what you need to work on? A lot. 
Okay, next time I come out here, between then and now, you're going to be practicing. So I we're going to see. Good. Next Pleasure year. to meet you, brother. I'll be back next year. All right, man. Thank there you. he is, man. There he is, man. This is the guy that this is. I'm going to call you electricity because you you grab some people in, and that's that's not that's just awesome. You enjoy yourself? Yes, absolutely. Good. You remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Uh, I believe a four. Any change in that number? Don't sandbag. I'm going to go with five because I made the 18 footer. You turned. What? Last time I Fives do don't it. make 18 foot. You and Lee, you save these sandbags for tomorrow when we're five expecting rain. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, pleasure to meet you, man. I, you. I disagree. That's all I'll say. I respectfully disagree. Five and a half. You make five and a half mad. Saying, coming up here saying you're a five and a half. Coming up here, the couple. Is your hand okay? Yeah, it's doing good. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely. Had a great time. Good. Remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Yes, it was a one. I was a three. Are you changing your number? Two. Uh, at least a four, if not maybe even up to a five. Okay. Disagree with your two. All right. Okay. Again, when you go back and watch it, if you watch a lot of practice sessions, sometimes that helps you go, no, I'm not a two. But you're not a two. All right. Am I a one? <laughs> no, no, you're going the wrong direction. <laughs> pleasure to meet you both. Very nice meeting you. So, yes. nice so meeting. Much. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You absolutely. My pleasure. Enjoy yourself? I absolutely had a fabulous time, sir. Beautiful. What did you rate yourself when you first came out? Three. Any change in that number? No, I don't believe so. Okay. Okay, good. I Humbling. Believe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not really. You kind of, you, you're three, you're still at three, so that's perfect. But you know what you need to work on. Absolutely. Pleasure, brother. Thank you. All right. Here he is, man. Dude, man, if you... If there was a, a prize for most improved, unless you was like punking me earlier, <laughs> because I mean, no, I mean, I mean, you, you did great out. You really did. You enjoy yourself? Oh yeah, good time. Really good. good time. You remember what you rated yourself? Maybe a four, a five. Four, four or five? Yeah, I think so. Any change in that number? Yeah, a little bit. Six, seven ish. Six, seven. Oh six, man, six, maybe. Yeah, I'm an eight, know. so you right under me, man. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, All right, um, and you're gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. See you then, brother. Yeah, yeah. I got two people coming here tomorrow. As well as today, Lee and you. So I guess you're going to be competing in the slow race. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds good. Thanks. You got it, brother. Here he is. Here he is. How you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed, man. Definitely. You enjoy yourself? Had a blast. Good, good. You remember what you rated yourself? Uh, two. So. All right. Any change in that number? Don't, yeah, don't probably. <laughs> no, probably four or five. Still got to, still got some work to do. I got, I got to get that 18 foot in. No, come on, man. That, <laughs> no, I disagree with the five. Even yeah. the five, I disagree. It's too low. Yeah, yeah I got to get okay. that 18 foot in. Come on, man. Yeah. I'll be, next time we see each other. Like I, this is what I mean. Yeah, this is what I mean, guys. When I said we all have yeah. different goals, so that's cool. Yeah. Pleasure, brother. Yeah. Yeah, absolute blast. Oh, absolutely, man. Thanks, you got it, man. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it here. We're closing out this video. This is practice session number 69. And I told these guys that 69, baby. And I told these guys they're never going to forget it. And they said, why'd you say that? It's simple because there's two numbers that look the same. One's just flipped around. That's all. Get your minds out of the gutter. All right, guys, listen. Uh, had a blast. Love it. We got to pick up some cones. And we're going to come back here tomorrow, practice session number 70, and do it all over again, right? We might have some inclement weather. We're going to get through it. All right, guys. Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. It is now. 15.30 hours, which is 3.30 p.m. I got out here at 5 a.m. to set up. This takes a lot of work, guys. A lot of effort goes into this. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so. It's free. You only have to do it once. All right, guys? If you don't know how to subscribe, send me an email. I'll show you. I actually did a video on how to subscribe on your phone, your iPad, your computer, and even your smart television. All right? All right, that's it, guys. Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. Seat time, I don't care how nice your seat looks. I don't care how long you sit on it. It doesn't equal practice time. But if you have time to ride your motorcycles, please make time to practice on them. Until next time.